again. Afternoon, or whatever time zone you may be in. I'm having a stare down with both of my cats because Banjo's looking like he wants to attack Sherman. He's got the backwards ears. Hey, yo, Dresden. I'm anticipating violence in my bedroom. Banjo, stop looking like that. Hey. Stop it. Can't have a moment of peace here. Yesterday we yes, catastrophe you mean. Yesterday we left off, um, we finished the new the base and the first layer clothing. Uh today we have the helmet boots goblets. And the big cape. Cape jacket. For your commission. about the gauntlets. Color scheme. The dreaded colors. Because they're a combination of two older gauntlet styles. And the last time I drew him, his gauntlets were also a completely different set of colors.
Yeah, I actually got to. We'll see how that looks. Yeah, Dress and that stuff is to you already, but I had a very nice time playing um Drawn to Life yesterday. Such a very cute little game. I'm excited to play the sequels whenever I get them. Or whenever I get the second one, I have the third one. so many times, but that one, that one time I did not get far at all. But I will finish it properly this time because I want a good refresher for when I get the sequel. Literally, Dresden, I think of, uh, oh yeah, what era of my life was at that point? Ah, uh, yes, Star Wars. Ah, uh, Steven Universe. Ah, uh, One Piece. Fucking nightmare. As if I'm trying to run away when that is definitely not the case. Hell, 
Robert. I can't show this on stream, but I spent part of my morning putting together a new price sheet for NSFW commissions. Yeah, my captions get that correctly, please. NSFW. There we go. I hope I get some takers, because I... One, I would like to have money, and two, I have not drawn NSFW stuff in over a year, which is tragic. Listen, if it's cool, it's cool. I don't play Monster Hunter, but I know there's a lot of, like, really complex monster designs in that game. Sometimes, easy to draw doesn't have to be a priority. to make your character one punch man levels of simple. sets for angles so I don't have to keep manually setting it. <laughs> Thanks, Dresden. I have some people who are like, I might get some eventually, and I'm like, okay, take your time. Please. <laughs> to my NSW side account, which is fine. People can always DM me for that. Um, I would just like to have money, please. Ha <laughs> 
Yeah, I do. <laughs> I sure do. My, my mortgage is going up this year. My health insurance premium might be going up this year. Um, God, what else? Ex uh, groceries keep getting more and more expensive. Thank God I don't have a car yet, because I would not be able to make car payments. Like I said, thank God that it would be nice to be able to afford a car and driver's lessons. But I'm just not there yet. Not to vent my money woes on stream. But I'm not gonna lie to people about my situation, at least. That's why I've only been getting ghost equipment after people donate me money specifically for it. <laughs> I sure do. I've been considering trying to get some sort of day job, but it's really hard to get one that isn't remote because I can't drive. And most remote jobs require like extensive typing and because of my uh, nerve issues, that's kind of a no-go for me. Maybe something will come up that works for me at some point, but I don't know when or where that will be. I love doing art for a living, but the health of my hand does not enjoy it most of the time. So I have to find other avenues. Thank you. Um, I was real bummed out about this one uh, job that I wanted that wasn't, it wasn't gonna happen ever, but uh, there's an antique store here in town that I love eagerly, and every time I go, the owner is always like, oh, we're like months away from closing because we don't get enough business, and he said that he wants to try to hire some local college students to maintain an eBay account for the store, uh, but those students were very bad at it and neglected to respond to any emails, and it was bad. So I tried, to, he said he was done trying to do an eBay account, and then I came back months later asking, hey, would you be willing to try an eBay account again? Because I would love to run one for your store. Um, and that was the quickest no I've ever gotten in my life. It wasn't a mean no, it's just like he happened to be on his email when I sent it. And I tell you, within the minute, he responded with a no. <laughs> so that's kind of sad, but like I expected the no. Then there's, um, I, I was looking at like job listings online, and <laughs> there were, I, just for shits and giggles, I looked up Paranormal Investigator on like uh, one of those job recruiting sites, and there was one single listing. Um, I live in Florida, but Florida's pretty big, and this listing was for St. Augustine, Florida, which is a place I love, but it's like an over two hour drive from where I live. And it was just for weekend gigs. And I'm like, man, it would sure be nice if I could drive down on the weekends to help in paranormal, to paranormal tours. But I sure can't do that. <laughs> Not yet, at least.
need to figure out new merch ideas. My Strahd stickers are almost sold out. I'm gonna have to get some more of those soon, too. But I gotta wait for a bit. I think my manufacturer is off for um, a long time during the holidays. for stickers and stuff. Um, I think they're based in China, so Lunar New Year is coming up. So they are, like, super on break. Stretch break.
That would be real fun. I'd like, I'd like to see this guy being domestic. There's just something about large, intimidating guy doing mundane household things that just gets me right here. This is really funny, um, these gauntlets and boots visually are very complex, but they do not take a whole lot of effort for me to get through, so I thought today was going to be like a lot longer in terms of what I had to get done, but I think I might get done pretty fast. to assess my hand strength situation. If I finish this fast enough, I might get back to working on those wolves for my housemates, but if hand is tired, I will have to stop. <laughs> Dresden, that sounds amazing. Or, or he gets one of those, you know those, like, uh, small Japanese make-it-yourself candy kits that make model food. I saw somebody make a takoyaki one the other day. We should get, uh, somebody, get somebody to draw him making that absurdly large thousands of pieces um, fucking, what's it called? Oh no, why would I forget this word? That spaceship from Star Wars is not the best star. I love when I forget words of things that I absolutely know. It's happening a lot more frequently lately and I'm getting concerned. Millennium Falcon, there we go. The one with the box the size of a small child. Big box. Have you seen that video of, um, the, it's a, a girlfriend who's surprising her boyfriend with that uh, Malaya Falcon Lego set. It's really expensive, so he never expected he would get it. And his reaction when he realizes that's what she's got him is so sweet. Oh no! I have a uh, small self-assemble Hatsune Miku figure here on my desk. Um, and that was fun to put together, except that was a hard lesson in learning that my hands can't do that for a long term. Using, like, the um, wire cutter to cut off all the tiny bits from the frame 
Oh my god, my poor hand. On those the things that I can never do again. My friend Corey loves putting together those tiny anime model kits though. Or not the tiny ones, the self-assembled ones. Um, so I'm like, Corey, please come over. Please visit me sometime and put together my, uh, Evangelion Mecha Godzilla. It's just been sitting in its box for years because I don't have the hand strength to put it together. And I don't want to sell it because it's so cool and I would like to have it. I just can't put it together. Try to give me promo messages, DoorDash, you disappointed me today. Can you link me the figure? I would like to see it. I have a cool War Greymon and uh, Metal Guru Mine figure, uh, two, two figures. Um, they've been in their boxes since I moved because I don't have a shelf for them yet. Just like that. Wow. That was fast. Lightning quick.
but yeah, at this point we should see what he looks like with Still a no on the barking. Somebody can take a peek at it while I get colors ready. Gotcha, gotcha. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm trying to get everything to behave. What is that thing up? I can't get Twitch to work. No! Okay, I'm real now. Yay. Are we working on a Dresden commission? Yes. Also, thank you for showing Finn your dress, and I appreciate it. It's very cool. I slept till noon. Nice. And then Saro and I were millennials and went to the mall and walked around until four. That sounds like a great time. It actually was. They have like a new Sanrio store in there. Well, or not Sanrio. It's not Sanrio specific. It's like import stuff. That sounds super nice mm -hmm. and I want to go. Not enough Kuropi. Um... But a lot of really cute, like, cinnamon roll and, like, um, the pink and black ones. I can't remember what their names are. Uh, the goth one? Yeah, and her girlfriend. Uh, I know the pink one is my melody. I forget what the goth one is. Yeah, the goth one in my melody. And then they had Pochico, too, which was neat. Nice. I hadn't seen Pochico in a while. But not enough Kuropi. Need more frog. Found one Kuropi thing, it was a phone holder. No. I'm gonna use that like once or twice if I ever got it. Because I only use it for like telemed visits. <laughs> Bro. 
frog denied. Well, not necessarily. We went to Hot Topic and Spencer's and I found frog there. Hey. Some of the like artist collab commissions. So. Nice. Yeah. Um, I think they had one of the Rainy Loon shirts. I got one of them. Yeah. And I got a button that says let it all burn and it's a frog with like fire behind it. <laughs> and it's massive and it's on my book bag that I take to work. Oh yeah. Oh, I so I do be standing out there waiting for my Uber like a child going to school. <laughs> <laughs> I had to that work is like... I had to oh, yeah? this morning, and my Uber driver, uh, for no fucking reason, it took, like, two hours to get my food here. Do you want to hear about how our New Year started? Yes. So we got up, and Sarah ordered breakfast. It had snowed the night before, but it wasn't bad, and we have the infrastructure for it, so it's not a big deal. Um, so one of two things happened. The driver picked up our food, and then either stopped and ate it or got into an accident. Oh no! Because we didn't get a refund until after the restaurant had closed and we were so bad. That's so sad. So we couldn't even reorder because like the restaurant had closed. No! But yeah. Can't be, you can't be trusting Uber drivers sometimes. No. Uh. They were, like, driving to the opposite side of town while I was checking the map, and I, it was, like, an hour in at that point, and I'm like, yo, like, is everything okay? It doesn't say you have other orders. And the person was like, I do have other orders, and I'm like, oh, they must be multi-app drifting. Yeah, they do that. Which is so stupid, because the Dunkin' at work from is literally right next to my house. It would have saved so much time. Yeah. Had he just gone to my fucking house with the order first? Yeah, he was probably working on another app that had like a timer that had been running longer. So rude. That's usually how they do it, is they do it less like by who's closer and more by like whose timer is running close to ending. Which is fucked up. I hate that they're allowed to double dip like that. Um, but I also hate that they have to double dip like that. Yeah. I would say just pay your cost your, your employees more, but also people would still do that shit. Yeah. I will say this though, never cancel your own order. Don't do it, they still get paid. Uh -huh. Let the app cancel it or contact customer support. Don't cancel it yourself. Don't take it. My favorite story is still just calling Uber customer support and being like, Hi, I need you to look at this GPS and watch this man drive further and further away from my house. Because <laughs> he's taking that home. That's what I thought was happening to me today, but the person finally responded to my message after 40 fucking minutes being like, Yes, I had other orders. I'm on my way now. And I'm like, <laughs> I hate that. Look, I'll come beat them up for you, okay? Thank you. Because I've known people who do, like, who would do deliveries on the side as a side hustle. They weren't like this. No. Oh, are you still taking character sheet commissions? Yes. I might be interested in one. <sighs> well, I, I mean, it's available. gonna be Saro paying you, but... <laughs> um, I might be interested in one. <laughs> I need to get Paxton's bug form refined and simplified, but still be a bug, and you are one of the top people to ask to do that. I love drawing bugs. E. I just love bugs in general. I'm glad you would consider me for the job. Yeah. 
Like, I like what I've done, but also I look at it and I'm just like, I don't want to draw this every time I want to draw him as a book. <laughs> The struggle. Yeah. The buggle. <laughs> the buggle. <laughs> the buggle. <laughs> Sorry, that's gonna get me for <laughs> Your favorite favorite word just dropped. It's been my favorite word. I like the word bug. I think it's a good word. That's why my cat's name is Bug. <laughs> Bug is a good word. It is a good word. When you add ol on the end, even better. <laughs> if you want to get stupid, add last to the end. Then it's like Douglas, but it's a bug. Bugless. Bugless. Incredible. Buggles like Boggle, but you only use bug names. Yes. It's a lot harder, and there's a lot more letters. <laughs> <laughs> the board is the size of like the periodic table. Oh no. Bubble could be a struggle or even snuggle. Buggle is when a bug Pokemon uses struggle. No way. Bugsworth. <laughs> Buggington. Bugless, but I'm Buggington. The third. And also the fourth. I need a little color error. I can fix it. Aw, oh, damn. Yeah. We're going to the aquarium and when we go down to Virginia. But, um, very sad that their interactive exhibit won't be open until after we've gone. No. Would have loved to set the little man on loose on a spider web. <laughs> you gotta go to Corey's Aquarium. Cory won't tell me where it's at. Yes, he will. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, we're gonna take. He's giving we'll me take the permission to divulge which aquarium he works at, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. Ooh, Bugsworth, Dresden. Bugsworth's a good name. That's a very official bug. That's a bug in a suit. Bugsworth is the Monopoly guy, but a bug. But also, he's not running a Monopoly. Monopoly. It's a beehive. <laughs> ah, communism. <laughs> <laughs> you play Monopoly, but it's the bug version and you're a beehive. Incredible. Ooh, no. Ants. You're ants instead. Ants are always trying to take over each other's territory. Yes. <laughs> what do you call a lawless ant society? I don't know. What do you call a lawless ant society? Antarchy. Not Antarchy. Antarchy. <laughs> I turkey. I turkey. I turkey. I turkey. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we straight up bug posting. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like bugs. Hi, happy new year to you too. Welcome. You can make dad jokes too, it's allowed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dresden. Oh, I need I need a stick bug redeem. <laughs> you really do. Why don't I you do. have a get stick bugged yet? I don't know. Oh like, I think it's because I ran out of slots on sound alerts and I was waiting for them to add more. Oh. But there's um there's other extensions like sound alerts that do the same thing, so I might just add more.
Thank you for the litter. You dare tell me to hydrate in my own house. <laughs> I have a water bottle, do you? Yeah. I actually just finished my coffee because of how late my breakfast was. Oh damn, big late. You know, our Duncan is also directly across the street. I'm just thinking about that. that close, otherwise I just walk to it. We could walk to ours. I wish I could. The specific city I live in is so fucking massive and unwalkable, it's horrible. Eh, Rochester's walkable at your own risk. There's walkable parts. But not near houses. It's just, it's a big city. Like, we're in, a, like, a proper, like, high-rise. We're near a proper, we're on the sub, we're in the suburbs of a proper high-rise city. Yeah. yeah I don't With, like, wanna... definite places that you do not walk. Yeah. Unless there's, you live there. There's the college area here, and that has more, uh, walkable things if you're a fucking college student, but if you have a, a regular apartment or a house nearby, f forget it. Forget it. You want something I walkable? Think eat your ass. My favorite duality of Rochester is that it was, voted, it was voted the second most friendly city in the U.S. But also the crime rate is through the roof. Oh no. It's like among like the top three for crime. But it's also second most friendliest, so I don't know what to tell you. Listen, it didn't say what crime. They're gonna take your watch, but they're gonna be cool about it. <laughs> Listen, maybe people are just shoplifting. Um I know better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard some stories from co-workers of mine that live in less than savory parts of the city, so no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. um, the town I live in, or the city I live in, I believe also has a pretty high crime rate, but my specific neighborhood is very nice, and crime mm -hmm. is not. Uh, the, the worst you have to worry about here is sometimes people will check They'll, like, jiggle the handle on your car door, and if it's open, they'll take something, but if it's not open, they're not going to smash the window or anything. Yeah. You just gotta make sure your car's locked. People don't really, unless it's a Kia, people don't really fuck with cars too much, from what I've seen. <laughs> what do they got against Kias? They're easy to hack. Oh no! Yeah, sorry, bad news, did you not know about this? No, because I, I, I don't even have a car. Have you missed out on Kia Boys? I thought you watched Sad Boys. Um, uh, I... I know Jarvis has talked about Kia Boys. He probably has. I have not been watching any of or listening to any of my podcasts for months. That's fair. It's hard to, like, listen to by yeah. anyone sitting or regularly. Yeah, I, I can only do the video, visual YouTube version and even that. Yeah. I, I've been so stuck on watching uh, ghost hunting shows, I've barely been watching anything else. Oh, you're valid. No, um, so a little while ago that it came out, um, it became a TikTok trend to steal Kias because you can hack them really easy. <laughs> the newer ones, yeah. It's awful. Yep. also really funny. It's really funny. <laughs> Hoping they figure out Tesla's next. <laughs> In Minecraft. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I, um, I've been watching Ghost Adventures with fame and Zach Bagans. <laughs> um, Ghost Adventures was, uh, like my main inspiration for ghost hunting when I was younger. Um, it was where I started the obsession, I should say. And Growing up now, it's definitely not the best. <laughs> um, but I feel I like not. a sense of obligation to watch it all the way through, just out of respect for what it did for me. <laughs> oh, my mom younger. watched it. My mom watched it all the time. Yeah, 
My mom watched that one where they were like live, where they were like live broadcasting. Nice. And she was like sitting there on the edge of her bed, just like watching for ghosts, and I'm just like, we have ghosts here. <laughs> we have ghosts at home. Ghosts at <laughs> the home. ghosts at home. <laughs> um, I, I have been binging Ghost Adventures so bad and so much that Zach Bacon showed up in my dreams last night. Get him out of there. He doesn't belong there. I would, like, if I, if this was a conscious dream, I would have probably started throwing hands, but in the dream, the plot was like he was there to investigate my family's farm for ghosts, <laughs> which is extra funny because that place isn't haunted. The, um, the Claremont Town Hall had ghost hunters come visit one day. Like, Zach Baggins, ghost hunters. Ghost Adventures, then. Yeah, Ghost Adventures, I'm not sure. Which, they uh, were on TV. They were on TV. I don't know. It was a while back. Season? It was like after the, I. It, it was after the hype had died down. The, okay, I, I, I don't know if I said this or had you guessed this before. How many seasons of Best Adventures do you think there are? Seven. No. How many? Twenty-nine. <sighs> They're still airing. Zachary Baggins. <laughs> um, that might it, not even be. His name might not even be Zachary. I don't I even know. Genuinely, no idea. Um, also, he could he just he could just legally be Zach. He, I think he is. I'm gonna Google it right now, actually. No, it's Zachary. Took. It's Zachary. Zachary Baggins. Zachary Alexander Baggins. <laughs> Fucking hobbit ass. <laughs> um, I don't know what season he left in, but Nick Groff left the series after a while. Um, there was some internal disagreement with how things were being handled, and there's never been, like, an actual statement on why he left, but he, I don't think it was on great terms, which is very sad. That's too bad. Yeah. But I did see, uh, because Nick isn't, like, contracted to them anymore, he, I saw him show up on some YouTubers' ghost shows. Oh, that's cute. It was really cool. It was, um, I don't watch this person anymore because they pissed me the fuck off. But, um, it was Exploring with Josh, I believe, that he showed up on. With, uh, okay. he's got, like, a special spirit box that's, like, haunted. Itself is haunted. He's like, a, Nick was like, every time we have this in the house, some weird shit happens, so we have it in a storage unit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, don't watch Explore with Josh. That guy pisses me off so, so badly. <laughs> Just zero regard for how to conduct himself on a, on a uh, ghost investigation. I, I genuinely do not watch ghost investigation shows outside of um, the, the two guys uh, without you. No, the other two guys. The, uh, Puppet History guys. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 Ghost Files. Yeah, I don't watch anything besides Ghost Files without yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, okay, Sam and Colby came out with an episode the other day, and they had, um, two guests on. One of them was a Twitch streamer and her friend, and they were so mean to those poor girls. I wanted to throw hands so bad. They made them sit through some fucked up, made up bullshit ritual that just made them so scared. Beat their ass. I will. If I ever clam with Sam and Colby, I'll be nice and I'm gonna throw hands. Crawling in there and dropping a pot on their head. <laughs> Ghost Adventures is a wild time, and Zach Bagans is, he sure is a kind of guy that is quite unique in a non-positive way. <laughs> he sure is, a uh, alive. For how long, God knows. There was an episode where, um, they were going into an abandoned mine shaft that was incredibly sketchy, and, um, Zach was like, 
Yeah, if we die down here, come by. We promise to give you good EVPs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Zach Bacon's if and when you die, I hope I outlive you because I want you to make good on that promise. <laughs> Could you imagine him passing away and how many people would try to contact his ghost? Oh my god, that'd be so upsetting. It would be upsetting that I would be one of those people. <laughs> You're just trying to wrangle you like, nah, no, nah, no, <laughs> leave him alone. No, he promised! He promised! Leave him alone, Nat! He promised! He owes this to me for what he did! <laughs> nah, no. <laughs> you have to stop contacting Zach Baggins from beyond the grave! <laughs> I trapped Zach Baggins' ghosts in a bottle. I put him, I put, I put him <laughs> in, like, an empty bottle with fireball with a really shitty, bad quality printed out picture of him taped on it. God damn it. And then people have to come pay me to talk to Zach Biggins. You remember those little paper? I don't know if you ever made them, but like people would make like paper cutouts of their characters and like tape them up doing silly stuff. Yes, I do remember that. I never did. Yeah. I, remember it. I did. I did. Um, you should make one of Zach Baggins and just put him in a little bottle. <laughs> just wrap him in a bottle. Yeah. <sighs> just print out a really tiny like picture of Zach Baggins, cut him out, and put him in a little bottle. Now, listen, next full moon, I'll perform a ritual to banish him from my dreams. <laughs> Put him in the bottle. He only showed up in one dream to investigate a place that wasn't haunted. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> he also dead named my brother. <laughs> what the fuck, Zach? And I don't. Listen, I have never dead named or misgendered my brother, but in my dreams, I've done it. And I'm like, why? I. Dreams are weird. Dreams are weird. I don't do that ever. Dreams are weird. Why did Zach Vegans do this? He's an asshole. Like, he didn't listen. He didn't misgender my brother. He just used the wrong name. And I'm like, okay, um, I don't know what to do with this information. Where did you get that name? Who told Where did you, you get that? This? Maybe it wasn't Zach Baggins, maybe it was a ghost. <laughs> it was the ghost of Zach Baggins! <laughs> <laughs> I've been describing my watch through of Ghost Adventures as um, me studying these guys like rats in a lab. This, <laughs> this group of three white cis men who are all off putting in their own way. Zach Baggins is definitely the worst of the three. It's like studying germs to build, um, a, like, a vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> a vaccine against Zambians. No, it's just a vaccine against white men. <laughs> oh, no. There was, uh, the documentary they came out with that kickstarted their career. Um, Zach Baggins was 28 when he filmed it, I believe. Um, when I watched it, after, like, after all this time and saw how young he was, I was like, oh my god, he's a baby. And then, <laughs> and then he's, like, incredibly disrespectful to this poor ghost that committed suicide. Oh, and wow. it, it was really rude. And then years later, he came back to that location and brought that ghost flowers and apologized to her, and it was really sweet. Um, Aww. And I, I was giving him points for character development, and then in the same episode, five minutes later, he's trying to contact this this ghost, and he's like, can I have a little kiss? Don't I deserve that much? I brought you flowers. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Stop being a nice guy, what the fuck? What is it? What is it? Why are you nice guying a ghost? I can see why you're, like, chronically single, what is your problem? Is he single right now? I'm pretty sure he is. He's like I'm never willing... had a girlfriend so far in, the, in my watch through. I'm willing to just accept that he's single without question. Oh, 
Okay, he's currently dating a girl that you previously broke up with. They got back together. Good for them. I hope it works out. Um. Okay, how young is she? Sorry, I just saw a picture and she looks either very young or it's deceitful. Uh, I'll leave that aside. Oh, thank God, it's deceitful. She's, she's about his age. Okay. She just looks really great. Good for her. I was ready to start throwing hands. That. But also, I, I have looked almost way too young my entire life, so. Good for you, and also, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit of both. Yeah, that's why I did that. I, I've looked the same since middle school, and it's sad. I think my favorite interaction was, like, I was in the hospital, and they were wheeling me to another room, and, um, as they're wheeling me away, one girl in another room is like, how come they get to leave? They don't have their parents. And I look up and I'm just like, I'm, I'm 30. Oh no. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Cause she wasn't allowed to leave without like a guardian. Um, and she wouldn't go to the bathroom, but she was in there for reasons. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm actually, I'm, I'm 30 years old, but thank you. Oh, yesterday I was I was playing Coral Island, and I caught a frogfish. Nice. I'm gonna send you the picture because I've sent it to everybody else so far. Give me that fucking frog. Frogfish. I meant to send it to you after I sent you Super Business Dancing Night. Oh. <laughs> It's okay, we all have ADHD. That frogfish is me. Oh, what a beautiful frogfish. Yeah, it's good art. Yeah. Ah, the new art is leaking for the new Dimension 20 stuff. I'm so excited. Fouls is on break, I feel part of myself is lost. You'll be okay. How dare they focus on other projects? You'll survive. Will I though? God, I hope so. <laughs> They're like slow drip feeding us the new fantasy high share right now and I'm dying. Nice. I'm dying. You just give it to me. Seeing the new art is like getting like Pokemon leaks. Yeah. We're gonna listen to Bomberman 64. Rip Bomberman, I miss you so much. He's not dead. Doesn't have any new games, does he? You could make one. I could just make a game. <laughs> you could, you could just make a bomber man. I could just learn how to model and code. You don't have to model anything, it's a sprite based game. It plays best in a sprite based setting. The ones I played were 3D. Why are there 3D Bombermans? What are you talking about? Hold on. I 
I'm thinking of the NES version. That is the tried and true what I think of when I think of Bomberman. <laughs> I'm thinking of Bomberman 64. That one's wrong. <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> yeah, I think Bomberman works best in either low poly or um, sprites. I think sprites best, honestly. Did you see that really weird gritty remake of Bomberman? No. no. You're gonna look at it and be like, that's Bomberman, there's no fucking way, and then it is actually Bomberman. Okay, Google it. Please do, and I'm also so sorry. The duck and duck duck go is looking at me like, do you want the Bomberman gritty reboot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it, but I would like to see it. Is that really Bomberman? That's so ugly. I know! Perfect, my precious boy. I said that I- why would you tell me that? <laughs> I don't want that. I just want regular Bomberman. No. Oh my god, have you seen the Tom and Jerry gotcha game in Japan? No, is it cute? It, yes, actually. <laughs> um, Japan is like weirdly obsessed with Tom and Jerry and I need to find this specific image. Sarah's mad that they're really obsessed with Lotso the Bear from Toy Story. <laughs> Okay, first I want to I want to tell you this is official art from the Tom and Jerry Gotcha game. Send me it, send me it. You can see it yes, right here. Yes, so good. That's so good. Ah, what is this? Um, this is like I think the girl cat from one of the episodes. She has a lot of altered things, and this is like evil Tom or something. <laughs> Oh, how fun! This oh is so God. fun. Ah, hold on. No, Japan's right for that one, Jason. Look at it! He's so. It's so much fun! I, listen, I love Tom and Jerry so much. There's, um. There's a uh, Boba place near Gainesville, or in Gainesville, um, and they had a bunch of cute little imported Japanese keychains for sale, and there was a Tom and Jerry one, and if I had no self-control and a little bit more money, I would have gotten it so fast. I'm not big on Tom and Jerry, I just think it's really cute that Japan loves them. <laughs> oh, it just keeps going, it keeps giving. Is it called like Tom and Jerry Chase? Is yeah. that the one? Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little skin, that's so cute! This is incredible. I think it's precious. I think it's precious. If I didn't have a um, tendency toward gambling addiction, I would try to find this game. No, I found it, but I'm not trying to play it. Yeah, I would, I would, I would play it if it was not dangerous to my health. She's so precious. I think it's cute because, like, it's meant to be like hot for tom right like he's supposed to be into this character but it's not like over the top it's very yeah. cute <laughs> she's so precious <laughs> oh sorry for tom and jerry tangents <laughs> this is just one of my favorite pieces of media that exists it's just the fucking gotcha game this picture right here is my favorite one to have put on people who haven't heard of this. It's so fucking fun. It looks like somebody's, um, really niche hyperfixation DeviantArt AU. It really does. I think that's why I love it. Yeah. 
It goes hard. Some of these are really fun though. I, I see like a swan lake of the cat. Swan lake of the cat goes hard as hell. Nice. so late, I forget, I didn't realize it was already, like, 5.40. Oh, sorry, it's the girl mouse. The girl mouse has, like, a swan lake card. Uh. Have you ever played Drawn to Life? I know of it. I haven't played it. It is a very nostalgic game for me. I've played it through at least ten times. And Did it have a 3DS release at all? Or just a DS? I, I mean, you can play DS games on the 3DS. I'm asking because I was going to get my brother to um take a look at my 3DS. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could probably find it. It, it might have been in the eShop at some point. Cause like I really like my 3DS as a machine. I do. I yeah. enjoy it a lot. Um, I just did not get what I needed before the eShop closed. Mood. Okay, he got some edits to do here. He has to stuff his eyebrows into his mask. How's he fit them in there? It's not that hard. Just. Yes. It's, it's hard for me to fit my eyebrow. <laughs> I don't have eyebrows. Even in my human form, I barely have eyebrows. Eyebrowless. Eyebrowless behavior. I just got blonde eyebrows. I'm very eager to see what, um... Taking testosterone does for my eyebrows. Oh, man. So what if they point. exist, dude? What if they exist? You're gonna you're gonna grow hair in places that you didn't think you could grow hair. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I've accepted this. It's 50-50 for me, honestly. My family's um a mixture, a pretty even mixture, like on both sides of Native American and Irish. Yeah. Like, my cousin Willie's got a beard, and my cousin Jerry's got a beard. And they're, like, the long ones that go all the way down to their tummy. Yeah. But my grandfather cannot grow a beard, and he's on the same side of the family, so... I don't think they're his relatives, I think they're my grandmother's relatives, so... But I was informed that... I was informed that, uh... My brothers were probably the best guideline. Yeah, it, it's it's gonna make most sense to go by the genetics of your family. Yeah. Even if they're half-brothers, they're a better guideline. Yeah. But also, I look at my Uncle Phil and I'm just like, well, at least I'll keep my hair, probably. Because my, my mom's side of the family doesn't really have male pattern baldness, and my dad's side, it doesn't kick in until you're like 60, so... And male pattern baldness apparently follows the mom's line anyway, so... My granddad's yeah, still got a full set of hair. I'll warn you, uh, when it comes to taking testosterone, it's... Uh, male pattern baldness is a lot more prevalent in, uh, in fat people. Well, you're supposed to lose... I watched the video, you're supposed to lose a little bit of hair on the temples. You're gonna lose a lot more, you're not careful. <laughs> I'll be alright. I've got a stylist who understands. Gotcha. Alright, Dresden, this layer is done. Stretch time. <gasps> oh yeah, uh, about Drawn to Life. Um, I played it so many times, I love that game, and it, it's been an amount of years that I don't want to think too hard about since I last played it. Um, because the last character I made in it was my Gemsona, 
And I don't like <laughs> thinking about how long ago my Steven Universe days were. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yesterday, I played the Drawn to Life soundtrack as background music for my stream, and I was like, uh-oh, I think I need to play this game today, or I'm going to die. Um, <laughs> so I did that, and I made, um, I made my little Hellboy Sona uh, into the, char the character you play as, which took yeah, I saw. a long time. Yeah, I was gonna fucking ask. I was like, oh, there's no way. I've seen how this game handles. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it, I'll say, like, you, you, there's the character creator, and on the character creator, it looks great, but the character gets compressed a lot on yeah. the play screen. Um, so they look fine. But there's later levels where you play as, where you, like, get turned into a giant. Um, and I think that's where you can actually see your character in full. So I'm excited to get to that point at least, but I need to find the you <laughs> real quick and send it to you. I posted it in my server last night. Yeah, I was looking at it. I was screaming because of the flowies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I did the stupid, uh, pea flower, uh, for a, a level thing. And, um, <laughs> who was it that said it? It was either Andrew or Corey that said, Man, the Undertale remake looks crazy. <laughs> and <laughs> when I had to make that, um, stop of crops, I was like, Well, they said Undertale, I might as well. <laughs> Yay, Dresden, I'm glad you like it. Alright, here comes the doozy. I have to hide. The headshot for this. Okay, I'm gonna do something funky real quick. Here comes the consequences of my own actions, you're so correct. Um, <laughs> Dresden wanted, like, a One Piece-esque admiral coat for this guy with, like, bone elements on it, and I went oh a little God. crazy. It got away from you. Yeah. Which, entirely my fault, and I'm gonna have to do, like, a simple sketch back view of this thing, because it's very complicated. I can't believe you let it get away from you like that. <laughs> gonna put his little coat on. Yep. And then here comes the part that I think I can do pretty easily. I'll just have to do some paint over over here. Um, for this jacket to work, I have to put both his ears in front, but I have merged layers, so that's going to be interesting. Now I just have to paint over behind it and on top of it. Hell yeah. to tell you, Crit, the other day I had a dream that we met up IRL. I would 
love that too. Why do you have to live in fucking Ireland? Ireland's pretty. Ireland is pretty, and I would rather uh, be anywhere than Florida. But Ireland's even when Ireland. it's like flooded and half underwater, it's still sort of pretty. <laughs> Been to Ireland, hi. <laughs> I wish I had. Um, I went to. We hung out in Southern Ireland because that's where my grandmother's from. Don't ask me where, because we were all over the damn place. <laughs> I want to go back one day. Say hello to the family. Just like I said, I'm welcome. Whoa, I stretched. Okay, now his hair is in French. Or his ears are in French. I didn't even have to paint over as much as I did. It's immediately gonna get covered by <laughs> I'm such a good artist. <laughs> are you a real artist if you're not doing that? Listen. Every artist does that. Yep. Do you have any idea how far away Canada is from where I am? <laughs> Crit, look, we can meet you halfway. I can get Nat to maybe Toronto. <laughs> I need a passport. Okay, just outside of Toronto. <laughs> we can get you to the to the American side of Niagara Falls. Oh yeah. And then we'll get Crit and Fluff all in one go. Yes. Party. Party at Niagara Falls. Up, <laughs> oh, I gotta get rid of these points. I got too many. Uh -oh. For impact. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice crit. Balls. Balls. I don't like being close to 10k. It feels weird. <laughs> I need to have something ridiculous that people can spend 10k on. Please. I just have to figure out what. Make us make you do a Fortnite dance. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't be difficult. But there's better things that money can be spent on. Or points. That's fair, but... On your stream, you can spend 10k to nuke the stream. Yeah, I love it, it's funny. I need to find something that's at least worthy of that. I was like, why did Dresden's name change color on my screen? I had to reload the page. Yeah, people's names change color all the time, and it stresses me out. Well, Dresden's was red, it was matching up with your stream originally, and then when I reloaded the page, now Dresden's yellow, and I'm just like, I was about to yell at Dresden for making fun of their own character. <laughs> I was like, don't be mean, and I was like, no, wait, that is Dresden. It's fine. You can be mean to your own character. Of ghost hunting equipment. Hell yeah. I have, um, <laughs> turn around and look at what I have. Oh, you just now noticed my frog! <laughs> my frog! I live in here. I live in here. I'm stuck to the screen. Hello. I'm 
I've got I this, a spear box, an EMF detector, a recorder, two, two mag flashlights, a shitty camera with three batteries, um, and a tripod that doesn't fit my camera, but I can make it work with rubber bands. <laughs> The most ghost hunter shit in the world. Yep. There's this $30 backpack slash suitcase that I want, um, that I'll be using for ghost hunting equipment. It's black and black with, uh, neon green accents, and I want to get, um, like an iron-on patch of Coyote's ghost hunting logo. <laughs> it's gonna become your own. It's gonna become I mean, you. I own the copyright to it, so I can already do that. <laughs> Alright, where is it? I just want to show the chat. There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to find a black with green accents backpack specifically so it would match. And I did, and I hope nobody buys it because it's on eBay and there's only one left. I wonder if Jordash has like a custom backpack making setup like Vans does for shoes. I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Oh, that might not be the brand that I'm thinking of. What is the backpack one? somewhere where I can order single custom iron patches. There's a lot of places require you to buy in bulk, and I do not need to buy in bulk. Thank you. Buy six. Huh? Buy six. Even if you can't. <laughs> you get, it's like most places are a minimum order of like a hundred. Jesus. Stupid. I'm going through. I, I searched up like customized backpacks. I'm like trying to find ones that are like actual brands and not printthisplace.com. <laughs> Good luck. I'll show the backpack I'm hiding too. Like it's not even that expensive. I just can't justify it. At a rate of thirty dollar purchase right now. That's fair. It's gonna be the next thing I get um, if somebody donates to my ghost hunting fund. There it is. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, very simple front. It could fit a lot of patches on it. And it's f flat. Got a lot of pouches for technology. I need you to know I ended up on like a cornhole website. Why? I thought it was backpacks. It's customizable cornhole boards. What the fuck? Why are rednecks like this? I don't know. Dick Sporting Good does have a really good um selection though. Yeah. There's even some green ones in here, and it looks like yours would have been one that um, Dick Sporting Goods would have carried. 
Yeah, I don't think that one's that one's I could find a same one somewhere else. Because it's like it's got the same exact vibe and iron on ability that I've been looking for. Oh yeah, there's even a it's mostly it's more green than black though. Found another lime green bag. Let me see. Like a hiking bag. Oh, uh, it's on dicks. It's it's lime green with black accents, hold on. Never mind, this site is impossible to navigate. <laughs> I, I don't want a mini fridge, I want to take a picture. <laughs> I think you want a mini fridge, actually. I think, I think you need a mini fridge. Where the fuck am I gonna put a mini fridge? Under your desk! No! <laughs> I was watching Ghost Adventures last night, like normal, and one of the one of the episodes I was watching, they were hearing a lot of like um, banging sounds and weird noises in a uh, kitchen, and they're like, "Geez, what is that?" And then later they check the static static footage, and it's rats. It's rats. Oh yeah, rats are fucking scary. It's a lot of rats, like a lot of rats. <laughs> And they're like, oh, well, it's not a ghost, but this is arguably worse. My mom used to think the kitchen was haunted. It was rats stuck in the walls. No. They ripped the wall off for some reno stuff and found two dead rats in there. No. Jansport, that's what my bag is. My bag's a Jansport bag. I forgot what it was called. I was losing my mind. I was like, what is this bag? It's okay, it took me like a solid two minutes to remember what the Millennium Falcon was called earlier. I've been forgetting words that I absolutely know at alarming rates recently, and I hope that's not meaning anything. I mean, you might just be stressed. I'm not, though. I'm, I'm honestly having some of the best time ever. No, oh, I don't know then. Great, that would be most people's worst nightmare. Yeah, if you, if you, um, Jansport is got good bags, usually really good for like patches and stuff like that. For the most part, they usually have like the canvas bags. And they're usually pretty sturdy. And then Dick's Sporting Good has a really good uh, selection of bags. Nice. Oh, I just saw the lime green backpack. That's a nice one. Yeah. Someday I'll make Fritz's patch jacket real. I look like Please a shit do. everywhere. I did not play pay full price for a, for a transport bag though. I bought it just I bought it from work. Nice. I bought an actual child's book bag. Oh no. Yours now. It was a nice book bag. There's only one rip and it's inside. That's pretty good. Yeah, if if it's just the inside that's ripped, I don't care. Well it's just not getting out of the bag. But because it's canvas, it's easy to patch up too if it does rip. Oh yeah. That's something we got today was a sewing kit. It was like a mending kit. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. I require a bathroom break and I need to find a snack. Would you like yeah. to be in charge or do you want me to go to BRB? No, go to BRB. Okie dokie, I'll be back in a minute. Bye.
Hi. Hi. What if I only come in your stream on Wednesdays? Except that we normally have game on Wednesdays, so never mind. <laughs> um, I was like, I could be the Wednesday frog for your stream. <laughs> Listen, you come in whenever you feel like. We usually have game on Wednesdays, but uh, we don't have game till <laughs> the end of January. Yep. It's the same case for my Saturday games too. Saturday January's games just... singular. January's not real. Nope. Critic, aren't you up really late right now? What time is it there? Don't mind my hands freaking out on screen. I'm doing as I just... I should be getting close to like midnight almost, right? Well, okay, that's not too bad. Oh hell yeah, I remembered how to do math. <laughs> okay. Making the time back up. I want to draw. I don't know what I want to draw, though. Hard choices. It is hard. Look at all the blue, blue dragons running around. There's so many. There's so many. can't put the XD at the end, that's too many rhymes right after each other. <laughs> Your rhythm's <laughs> off. Dress it quick, you gotta make a one piece of you for him now. Oh, my Twitch made me leave the chat. Well, no. now we're back in chat again. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. It's like Punch and Judy. It's fun. <laughs> All these little blue dragons, little babies. So many. Can I pick them all up? I will pick them up. Watch me. Yeah, pick them all up. Here, I'll pay for their titty time. Hang on. <laughs> you you gonna donate titty time? Wow! Oh my god. That's really yeah. funny. Yeah, all right. I'll donate. I'll donate three if you make me. I'm not making you do anything. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm donating three so you can put them all up there. Wow! That's you. That's you. <laughs> no! There's I a tried. third one! I missed. <laughs> Leave me down there. They're donated. There you go. <laughs> yes, it was crit. I don't like fairy tale, but I like the sound effect. The sound effect is a meme. Wow! Wow! I hold all of these little blue dragons. Yeah. In my hands. I love them. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Look at all your dogs. I, I hold them carefully. Hold dog gently like hamburger. <laughs> Gets more confusing because it's not a dog, it's a dragon. What is a dragon if not a large dog with scales? Agreed. All dogs are... Cat. 
All all dragons, all animals are dogs. Yes. I found secret chocolate on my desk. I forgot about it. Um, no, it's already been shared. Sarah shared it with me. He didn't want it, so he gave it to me. Yeah. It's um, dark chocolate and ginger, which I like. Did you see how badly that made my stream lag for a second? I'm gonna watch it again. Oh wow, I'm watching it on like the actual Twitch. Big, big hiccup. Yeah. I need to update Vignon. I think they made it a fix for that lag problem. I just haven't fixed that. I haven't updated it yet because I am lazy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I, I think he's watching. Yeah, he's in there. Yeah, there he is. There's Omni Mom. Yeah, no, he didn't like the texture of the chocolate with the ginger. What's mine now? I see. No, that's just a cat. That's just big cat behavior. Cats do that shit. A cat would absolutely destroy a roof if they got the chance. Take a second yeah. to my neutral grain bar. Neutral Full of neutral grains. I'm muted so y'all wouldn't get attacked by crinkles. A little bit. No, nope, there they are. I'm not going to be eating dinner at this time, but since I had such a late breakfast, I'm not hungry enough yet. the hair back here would be going over the jacket now. Oh. I need more music once again. I can't believe you ran out of Bomberman. I gotta just play a different Bomberman. This wasn't a Glover. <laughs> Not Glover. Glover. It's Glover. So I have another bite of neutral rainbow. Hi, Claybot. Hi, Claybot. You got to start off the stream strong with titty time. Mm -hmm. Rob donated a titty time to you. Thank you. 
<laughs> Just in time to watch Bull get squashed. I like how crazy a fire does when that happens because it looks like I'm speed Yippee! Play. Yippee! Thank you for the follow! I can't believe I've been followed by the King Hidora. I'm not sure. He's got too many faces. I don't know if I trust him. <laughs> He's more than two-faced. He's three-faced. Yep. Concerning. Also, I think there's an entire comic series about Godzilla in hell. So Godzilla's been there too. Why? Um, I mean he sure killed a lot of people. But how'd he get there? He died. Can't believe Godzilla died for our sin. <laughs> um, also, uh, King Grand King Ghidorah, I only have Godzilla as an option because that's the only one available, but if you want to change your stream avatar to Godzilla, that is an option. I would get more if there were more. I was devastated that they didn't have any other any other uh kaiju. so right. But that's why Godzilla's also in hell. But those could have also been AU Godzilla's. They might not be Godzilla Godzilla. Every Godzilla is an AU Godzilla. See? See? No Godzilla is free of sin. <laughs> Why is... Okay, fair enough, I guess. <laughs> if you blow up the Earth, I guess the only other place you can go is hell. I've seen some of the art from Godzilla in hell. It is wild. I've never actually read it, but I kind of want to just because of how crazy it looks. I'm surprised you haven't. Um, I have the ADHD that makes it hard to read. Oh, okay, fair enough. I've read only one entire book series all the way through. Comics are easier, but they're not perfect. No, I understand that. I can read if I can hyperfixate. So if the book can catch me in like the first three or four pages, maybe the first chapter, I, I, I'm, I'm sunk, I'm gone. Uh, but if it doesn't capture me within that amount of time, I'm not going to finish it. Yep. What that means is I will just consume a book though, in like one sitting. You're so powerful. Um, was it Chuck Tingle's book, uh, Camp Damascus? One day. <laughs> Cumulative. I, I, I got it, I opened it, I started reading it, I did not put it down, and then Sarah was like, you have to go to work in the morning? I was like, fine! <laughs> and I went to bed and I came back right after work and started reading it and finished it. Have y'all seen, um, that... 
Ice Godzilla that's in that mech show that has literal hot maybe doing it. I'm not making that up. What? I forget what the mech show is called, but it's, um, it's, I think, part of the plot revolves around extra dimensional creatures and characters coming through, which is why Hatsune Miku is there. Okay. And it's called Snow Godzilla. And it's from the show, um... Shinkansen Henkai Robo Shinkan- Oh my god, this is such a long name! <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's a movie. It's a movie. Shinkansen Henkai Robo Shinkalion the movie. The Marvelous Fast A-L-F-A-X that comes from the future. That is all the- <laughs> You can just look up Shinkalion, which is a lot easier to find. Yes. If you look up um, Snow Godzilla clips or Shinkalion Snow Godzilla clips, um, it should have Hasne Miku in some of the clips because she's one of the people that's like, oh my god, it's Godzilla. It is a hell of a time. <laughs> Hatsune Miku being, oh, it's Godzilla, holy shit. And Godzilla being like, oh shit, it's Miku. No, Hatsune Miku, no way. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Snow Godzilla is pretty cool, though. I'll throw him up on stream. If I can find a picture of him, that doesn't suck. Could be better. Let me get another picture, please. God, every picture sucks, because it's like, uh... He's, he's a 3D model in an anime, so a lot of the, the pictures are just screenshots of him edited out of the background. And it looks so bad. <laughs> hey, you get the idea, though. It's pretty sick. If I was not worried about um, possible copyright issues, I would play the Snow Godzilla clips on stream for y'all. I mean, I can mute it, but I don't want to. Ghidorah wants to attack Snow Godzilla. Gotta make a fire, Ghidorah. That would fuck, though, not gonna lie. So, Dresden, I'm reading words, and I understand them individually. I- that's so much. That's so much to process. <laughs> I would never bring an Ava statue to life. That's a mistake. <laughs> Like, the energy from the fans alone is almost as bad as the actual lore. <laughs> Time to draw Godzilla on vacation at the beach. Yes. He's at, he's at Bikini Atoll. Hanging out with Spongebob. <laughs> yes, hanging out with Spongebob in the radiation pit. Yeah, yeah, because that's where Spongebob lives. Yes, it is. <gasps> no way, Hatsune Miku! In my stream! Oh my god, Hatsune Miku? I'm gonna be honest with y'all, there was one point where I was heavily considering making my VT model, VTuber model be a Hatsune Miku, um, variant. I am once again just shouting and banging on the doors and yelling April Fool's Day, April Fool's Day, April that Fool's Day. That would be Day. such an expensive April Fool's Day, do you have any idea? You just have to put a wig on! <laughs> no, I don't! Oh, I want to show you that Miku I was gonna be. Get a Miku wig for Bull! Get a Miku wig for Bull! 
there is um, a voice mod that kind of sounds like Miku. I could use that too. What if you just use the voice mod but you stable? <laughs> I would. Alright, here she is. And you put a wig on. I wanted to be this um, fish Miku that I made. Oh, I love this fish Miku. Thank you. I love her very much. She's very important to me. While we stare at her, I will have another snack fight. I was considering her pretty hardcore before Bubble was ever a thing. Um, but I didn't want to commit to the off brand Miku aesthetic. Yeah. Miku from another dimension. <laughs> Miku from Fish Dimension. I still say she get a Miku wig for Bull. Maybe. Hold on, I just looked back at chat. Oh my god. Dresden, please show me that. Cyber Singer Mika ten inch figure. <laughs> How could you do this? God. That is right. I also have to erase the tail and redraw it. Can't believe I've done this. I'm gonna do a 10,000 IQ player real quick. Oh shit, what are you gonna do? Whoa! <sighs> but fret not. I can put it back. Symmetry tool. Wow. Now the only thing I have to put effort into erasing is back here. Which I don't even have to do all the way because his tail is going to be going symmetrical now. So that mess can stay there. <laughs> I appreciate you flipping off the screen after you've beaten it. <laughs> it's like teabagging. Dresden, I did do this to myself, but I'm so up into the art hacks that it's not even a problem. I am a genius. I'm so fucking smart. Praise me! This Glover song sucks, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear it, but it's going, oh, like That's just, that's just the that's that's from Wizard of Oz. I know what I hate it. If you get copyright flagged for the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. 
Whoever would have gotten in trouble first. Check this man too. He's running off. I don't think original Godzilla was a female. No, she laid an egg. But it's not necessarily that Godzilla was female so much as Godzilla could lay an egg. Did original Godzilla lay an egg, or was that the well, American like, Godzilla from 1998? I think it's... No, it's not the American one. It's the, like, because baby Godzilla exists. Well, is it implied like, that Godzilla laid the egg? Yeah, more or less, and as much as it could be at the time. But it's not really stated that Godzilla is, like, male or female. I think it's more just, like, Godzilla dressed <laughs> its gender and, be <laughs> and laid an A, like, um, and then was Godzilla. I don't, is, I don't really know. <laughs> that is canonically what happened to the American 1998 Godzilla, actually. <laughs> and I'm not making that up. Yeah, and I think, I think it, like, followed the same, like, idea as that, as like, yeah. Godzilla transcends gender. It had asexual... Listen. Kind of like, base. Be nice, kind of... be nice to Zilla. He tried his um, best. It's kind of based on like, how female Komodo dragons will just go through parthenogenesis. Yeah, it was the asexual reproduction thing that yeah. was brought into, into, uh, into play. But the fun part about that I like about when they realize that Godzilla can lay eggs and they still call him he, and I'm like, yes. Yeah. Yes. I think Godzilla could just do that, because like Godzilla isn't like a species. Godzilla's just there. Godzilla does whatever it does. Yeah, I think the Glover soundtrack yeah. isn't that good. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I, yeah, because, like, I don't... I remember Baby Godzilla, and I remember Baby Godzilla showing up. And I remember Baby Godzilla being in, like, animated shows from... Not the early 90s, but, like, the 60s. Uh, maybe the 70s. Something along those lines. Like, maybe the 80s, like, Scooby-Doo shit. Um, and I remember Baby Godzilla showing up in some of those. Like, he had his own TV show, and it was, like, on par with the old He-Man's. But, um, I do not remember where that baby Godzilla come from. I'm not as well versed on Godzilla lore. But, um, my, my personal understanding was that Godzilla just laid an egg. <laughs> yeah, I think that was only the American one. Oh, that was Godzilla's nephew. Okay. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with my Godzilla transgender, transgenders, transcends gender. <laughs> Godzilla just does what Godzilla wants. Are you gonna really argue with Godzilla about it? Y'all ever just lay an egg? Of course I do. <laughs> don't lie to me and tell me you don't. Present, we don't like to think about that. I do actually. I wish I wish they got to like not any horrible sequel. Not horrible as in it's bad, horrible as in it makes you feel awful. Yeah, thank you, Crit. That's the one I'm thinking of. I didn't realize he was his nephew. I thought that was his son. Uh, 
Did you hear I love your subtitles? That's just a lie. I think Godzilla laid the egg and that Godzuki is Godzilla's son, but Godzilla is saying that it's his nephew to, like, you know, for social norms. You think Godzilla cares about social norms? The 70s Godzilla might. No! Wait, okay, wait, <laughs> when did that Godzilla come out that was like, that was like, you know, like, targeted a high capitalist society? I don't know. You, it, uh, that Godzilla was like the vengeful spirit of a bunch of um, dead people who were wronged in the system. I'm sure Crick knows the answer to that. <laughs> Unless I'm completely misremembering what a specific Godzilla was about. Which is entirely possible because I've only seen a handful of Godzilla movies. <laughs> Crit says the 70s Godzilla didn't care about the laws of physics, he wouldn't care about social norms. <laughs> you're right, you're right. My favorite Godzilla fact is that he canonically, um, endorses trans rights. I trust Godzilla. There was a fan-made stop motion about, um, baby Godzilla coming out as a trans girl, and, um, Godzilla being, like, immediately accepting and hand-knitting her a trans flag. And it was very cute. Aww. Um, and it was, like, basically co-signed by Toho. Aww. Gotcha, Craig. That might have been what I'm talking about. What I was talking about. Of water, but it's Godzilla instead. I, I need that to be real. No, oh, no, we're gonna be stuck in Godzilla discourse. I am fine, <laughs> this is funny. stream with cream and i think it was just cream at the time but i'm not sure um and i asked uh, we were talking about different godzilla designs and cream had mentioned how people keep making jokes about how fat um how fat the ass is of which godzilla yeah, what was it called zero point uh, no singular point Godzilla singular point, and he's like, why are people so mean to that one? I'm like, have you seen it though? And he was like, no, I haven't. And I'm like, oh. Oh. I haven't Robins, seen have it. you seen Godzilla singular point? I haven't, I haven't. I Welcome don't up. watch Godzilla's without friends. Don't watch singular point, it was not good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
but he does have the fattest ass of any Godzilla to date. Look at that. Oh. That's just Salazzle. Salazzle wishes he had what this Godzilla has. Holy shit. Yeah, the, I, I will say the show, great animation, wonderful characters. But the plot... Kinda, kinda the, want that figure. <laughs> I kinda do too. I love this design, genuinely. It's just the source material is bad. Um, again, great characters, great animation. This Godzilla was super cool, but the plot was like... It tried way too hard to sound super smart to the point where I could not keep up with what the fuck it was talking about. Oh my god. The, the plot was confusing, convoluted, way too complicated. It was... it was not good. Like, I could barely even... If somebody tried, if somebody asked me to, like, recount the plot to you, uh, I would say it involves time travel, extra-dimensional beings, monsters, and I can't remember anything else. <laughs> oh yeah, there is a robot somewhere. Not Jet Jaguar, that's a different robot. Okay. Jet Jaguar was in it, though, and I love him. But yeah, <laughs> what, 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 what? I want to slap what? it once. <laughs> oh, I don't think there might be a better shot. Try to find another shot of his ass. Oh wait, hold on, his front view is really good. Yeah, let me see. Why he look? Why, 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 why? Oh boy. Oh, I love him. Admittedly, Bobby? I think that might have been one of his previous forms, but I actually can't tell. He had a couple of uh, transformation forms, just like Shin. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to find another picture of his ass. I'm cursed by it. <laughs> his ass, it haunts me. I mean, yeah, he should be mad at humanity. Look what they've done to him. Drazen, no, you need to elaborate on that. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's Godzilla, but he's just dressed up like he's a member of the Cure. <laughs> I mean, Godzilla is already the last. Please, <laughs> bad little legs. I think it's because his arms are so short, too. Like, that doesn't help. I mean, Godzilla's always had a fat ass. This one just really... They just really went for it. My god. This arm. I, I think this is the cover of a novelization, but this picture is mostly ass. This what? one looks like it's like the, the like the front, you know, like the little anime girls. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving me vibes of like cute anime girl on the po on the cover, but it's Godzilla. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dresden, what are you? What uh, I'm are surprised. You no, I'm surprised you don't know about Gothfield or Gorefield. I'm gonna have to send you that like Quentin video later or something. <laughs> I 
I'm on a tangent now. <laughs> Trying to find more pictures of his fat ass. It's just giving me anime girlfriend cover. It's great. Another view of that figure. I actually really want this figure. Look how, look how articulated that tail is. That's incredible. I know. I want fat ass high heels Godzilla with the articulated tail. <laughs> <laughs> he's got high yeah. heels. Look, he's got them Louis Vuittons on. Why are you too close all the way back there? Oh. Gorefield like is not a Twitter trend. Gorefield yeah. is just internet overarchy. Look at that mouthful of teeth. That's for eating jellyfish. That's... Uh, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. If things that eat jellyfish have teeth like that to hold the jellyfish in place because they're very slippery. Oh, wait, hold on. There is something that, um... Indra and Corey said in the chat or in our group chat earlier. I'm not sorry for this. Hold on. Open the picture, please. I'm all my fucking god. <laughs> oh, I like that it's just pointing at me right now, which is even better. How oh, I'm trying to die. <laughs> That's uh, along the lines of the joke I was gonna make with the, the, the teeth now. <laughs> that would be terrible! I, would. I, I don't recommend that. Your spouse sounds cool as hell. Alright, everybody, wave goodbye to fat ass Godzilla so I can go back to work. Goodbye, fat ass anime girl Godzilla. Goodbye, fat ass anime girl Godzilla. Your cheeks were so dummy thick that it caused eight, eight magnitude earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even fully get that out. Oh, I love that. Uh, hold on, let me take- uh, I have my Godzilla figures on the shelf behind me, let me take a picture. I'll share- I'll share with the class. Oh, I actually- I have heard of Arvalis. Oh, uh, yeah! Arvalis is very popular. I know of him. I have- I bought, um... An art book from him at a convention a long time ago. Alright, let me, uh... I'll send this in collab chat and then put it on the stream. Oh, cool! Oh, that's fun! I'm so happy you get to have that time with him. Well, I mean, how long have you been working with him? Because when I bought one of the art books, it was a long time ago. Right here. This is my, uh, mostly Godzilla and Hellboy shelves. I've got some Shin Godzillas up here. You can barely see it, but there's a pair of Shin Godzilla chopsticks. That I, I did use a few times before one of them snapped in the washer. Why are you washing them in the washer? Because they were dishwasher safe, but they were not safe from getting oh. caught in the grate in the grate and my mother grabbing it wrong and snapping it. That's fair. Uh, this big photo. Okay, seven years, then yeah, maybe. Congrats, that's really cool. Arvalis has been a massive art inspiration 
for me for basically the entire time I've been online. Oh yeah, no, I've been following yeah. him since he started posting on DeviantArt. Like the minute I saw that, I was just like, "Hello, hello, hello." Hello, yeah, Dresden. That's one of my favorite movies ever. Listen, listen, taters. Listen, if I had more money and more shelves, this is not what my room would look like. I am a maximalist through and through. We're gonna give you more shelves. I need more shelves and more things to put on shelves. Actually, we are giving you money soon at some point. Yeah. I miss that. You, can, you can't see it very well. This is uh, one of the attack eater Godzilla statues. It's very, very fun. Very Actually, cool. I really like that one. Yeah. I was like, I need this so bad. Ooh, I love this game. Godzilla doing his out of breath. Yeah, um, I think, uh, this artist has come out with more Godzilla's. There's one that I want really bad. Hold on. Alright, we're having a Godzilla tangent. While I let my camera Alright, found it. Um... Alright, this is the one I want. Check that out! That shit is crazy. Ooh. Ooh. I think it comes in blue. That honestly just makes me want to go buy like a basic Godzilla fig and start customizing it. Oh yeah. I'm trying oh, to find that's the blue one. so cool. It is so cool. And it's $150 and I cannot justify that. Yeah, it does come in blue. Though, okay, the blue one might be cooler. I love the pink, though. I like the blue is literally cooler. <laughs> yeah. um, oh. Wow! I just want to pick them up. Oh. Pick them up and watch Sarah make me put them back down. Oh yeah, Tainers, you, you, now that you notice that, now, now that you mention it, it does kind of match me a bit, doesn't it? You don't have enough pink, though. You gotta get more pink in your system. I need to get a blush redeem, or a blush face effect, and then I'll match it. On <laughs> That's team, a new wig. Crit, I wonder why the blue dragon would vibe with the blue one. What a mystery. My shoulders have the same spirals? Yeah, a little bit. You should get a Hatsune Miku wig, but it's that neon pink. When bull kaiju? Well, I mean, my Digimon one is kaiju size. Isn't bull already kaiju? I mean, he's 20 feet tall. It's not really kaiju. That's just big. It's kaiju adjacent. It's, it's, it's like a baby kaiju. Yeah, so adjacent. You know what, actually, this one's not even kind of size either. They still was big. And he would make a really fun live action actor Kaiser suit. That'd be insane. God, I want this so bad. Oh, yeah, I didn't finish going through here. Um, top shelves are all Godzilla's, um... Crit. That would be super cool. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think I'm anywhere near 50 meters. <laughs> um, and then down here is where Hellboy stuff starts. Or mostly Hellboy. I know the thing is there's Hellboy stuff here and then there's Devilman hiding amongst them. When I get the Shin Godzilla figures, they were at a um, anime figure store in LA. They had the whole set, so I bought the whole set. I first only bought the baby and the final, and then like the next day, I was like, actually, 
If I don't have the set completed, I'm gonna feel incomplete. So I went back. Had to get all of them. Yep. They're also, like, the, these aren't the high quality ones. They were like 25 each. You can find them online pretty easily, I'm sure. Down here, I have more Hellboy stuff. I have some uh, limited edition Hellboy beers. I drank one of them. I don't like beer. <laughs> It was not very good. I appreciate, I appreciate your honesty about yeah. it. I, I wanted them for collector's value, um, but I had got my hands on two of the ones that have Liz Sherman on them, so I decided one of those was going to be the one I tried. It, it was like some chocolate flavor, I think, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. The Lobster Johnson. The Kate. A Hellboy. The uh, I don't remember this guy's name. Baba Yaga. This son of a bitch. And down here, um, I have some Hellboy stuff and also the Wolfman. I didn't- I don't have any room for the Wolfman on my wall where I usually put Universal Monster stuff. I need to get it on the shelf, so he's just- he's hanging out with Hellboy for now. I think they'd get along. I think they would too. Also, Autographed. Aww. By both Doug Jones and Ron Perlman. Aww. <laughs> I didn't meet them in person, unfortunately. A friend of mine got this for me, and I am so <laughs> eternally grateful. And, That's um, so great. Doug Jones wrote, I can't smile without Matt, unprompted, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Does Doug Jones know about you? Um, I mean, he knew my name because my friend, um, asked for the autograph piece. He was like, oh, what's your friend's name? I'll write a little message. Um, so they said my name's Matt, and the picture I chose was from the I Can't Smile Without You scene, so it works. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so cute. Ben Jones is such a sweet guy. I love him dearly. He comes to some Florida conventions sometimes, so I need to see if I can go to one. I haven't watched What We Do In The Shadows yet, tragically. Um, there's a friend I've been wanting to watch it with, but our schedules just don't ever align, so I, we haven't been able to get together for it. I watched most of it with uh, Fluff, but I didn't get uh, too far into the more recent seasons, so. Um, mostly because the people we were watching it with, I uh, do not affiliate with anymore, so. Yeah. Damn. It's fine. Like, I'm just not on that server anymore. I still talk to a lot of the people we hung out with. I just am not there anymore. That happens. Why can't you find a Kong figure? Are there a bajillion of them? Yeah, Crit, I know it will be. It's like, it's tailor-made for my taste specifically, and I just haven't, haven't done it. Well, the minute you get into it, you're gonna be deep. Yep. Yep. You're gonna be crawling in through the back door of the Flight of the Concord studio being like, give me more. <laughs> That, they're barely involved, but... <laughs> uh, are you looking for a specific kind of Kong figure? I mean, there's a, there's, if you Google Godzilla vs. Kong figure, there's a bunch of them. Are you looking for, like, a specific manufacturer? Do you want the Mega House one? There's, like, the low-quality 
toy versions and then there's the higher quality figures. Mm -hmm. Maybe branch out towards Target then. I don't know that the Walmarts are gonna have the ones that you're looking for. There's a really nice one on GameStop. Yeah. If you're looking for figures, like Walmart's not really the the best. They won't get it until it's out of circulation. Yep. And Walmart online is kind of like eBay and Amazon where it's semi fueled by private sellers. As somebody who has to look at praises for shit for work, it's a goddamn fucking nightmare. I still have a bunch of Star Wars figures I'm trying to get rid of. Oh man, so do we. <laughs> Star Wars figures and other things Star Wars related. Yeah, all the things my coworkers wanted already sold, so. I have been meaning to put some of them up on eBay, but I just haven't gone through the effort. I mean, that's fair. Reselling shit's hard. It's a pain in the ass. It sure is. I sold a lot of them, like, privately over Tumblr and Twitter DMs. Um, because that was easier than making an entire count. Um, but yeah. the stragglers are gonna have to do something. I have some, uh, I have one Ahsoka pin that sells for like 80 bucks, because it's rare, but there's no takers. Damn, was Ahsoka being, was Ahsoka got released, right? Like it wasn't cancelled? Oh, no, yeah, that's out, I'm talking just the character Ahsoka. No. It was a pin from, uh, like, five years ago? No, way longer than that, hold on. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I was like, with it coming out, you would have thought somebody would have picked it up by now. Well, I mean, I've, I've never listed it on the site in the, the, um, the post that I had fell out of circulation a long time ago. Oh, that's fair. Uh, I also have some Star Wars clothes I want to get rid of, but they were kind of pricey, so I would like to sell them if I can. Yeah, at Star Wars Celebration Conventions, any Ahsoka pins that they come out with for their collector stuff that year tends to be, like, one of the most expensive ones. Ahsoka be popular. Rightfully so. I love her. Housemates are cooking. They're cooking bacon. I can smell it. Oh my god. Tough. Illegal. Illegal. My eyes are gonna start watering. I love that I changed my text sound to the bonk noise. It's so funny when I get them now. Endless supply of entertainment. It really is. Like, and I have like Google notifications for my cam my for my um, calendar and stuff too. Selling people doesn't make somebody cool, but Boba Fett is really cool. One of the things that I'm trying to sell is a Boba Fett button-up Hawaiian shirt. Hawaiian shirt. It's it's actually a really nice shirt, and I love it aesthetically. But because it's Star Wars related, and I'm not super into Star Wars anymore, I'm like I can't wear this in, in good conscience. Aww. The only Star Wars clothes that I'm keeping are my shirts that I sleep in, my t-shirts. That's fair. I can never get into it the way other people got into it. Like, it's, it's fun. A it's a lot. It's fun. It, I just, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not anymore. I had fun when it lasted, though. Yeah, I'm talking to the collective, y'all. <laughs>
Like, I don't really get that deep into fandoms, I guess. Not, not sci-fi fandoms, anyway. I feel like fantasy fandoms pull me in harder. Understandable. Like, I want to dive deep into the Redwall lore again, but that's, you know, that's a silly place to be. Yeah, crit, that's not really, that's not even the reason I stopped getting into it. I just fell out after a point. I got burnt out. I have two coworkers that are really into it, and it's... They have, like, little mini fandom war conversations that I have to sit there and be like, Behave. Behave. Please behave. Please stop fighting. Yeah, well, one, I, f I fell out of love with it just because I got tired of it. But also, um... Not to bring up old discourse, but the person they cast as Ahsoka, it has some questionable history of transphobia. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Not the best. I would love the Clone Wars for, um, forever though. Oh, and also for the transphobia part, I'm meaning specifically the live-action Ahsoka. I don't know what Ashley's views are on trans people. I ran out of music again. This playlist are fucking short. Trying to think of video game. Yeah, the, so I will say the accusations, quote unquote, aren't confirmed. Uh, but what happened, what, this is something you can Google, it happened. What, it was a family friend that uh, came out as a trans man and some physical violence happened against this trans man involving allegedly um, the actress and her mother. It was very bad. Aww, there was an actual lawsuit, but the lawsuit was dropped because they didn't have proof of the incident. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. Means they didn't have proof. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a situation that's kind of difficult because like it, it, I don't know why somebody would make that up. The person was genuinely like a, a real family friend, so I don't think it like it sounds genuine the way they recount how it happened and everything. It, it seems very legit, but again, is what it is. So just it feels icky consuming content uh, with her in it, knowing that wasn't settled. Can you, like, DM me the actress's name? I can just say her. It's Rosario Dawson. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Again, the situation yeah. is alleged. Don't send me. I need another game to listen to. Trying to think. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Somebody name a Game Boy era or before video game. Kirby. Kirby? Uh, I think Kirby might have copyright problems. Banjo Kazooie? We can try that. The Kirby 64 one, the one with the painting, might not be as bad. You know what? We'll, we'll take the risk. Yeah. Do Banjo Kazooie first, though. Game. And we'll go after stream if there's copyright problems. I think the main thing you'd have to worry with Kirby getting your copyright is like Wispy Woods. And um da 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 da. You know that one? Yeah. I think that would be the one that you would be most at risk for. We'll find out.
Ridge Raisin, we're getting there. I promise. Uh-oh. Raisin, what colors? We need to know what colors. What color? Colors that make sense. All right, I'll go crazy. Go crazy, get stupid. <laughs> we'll be in the middle of like, I'll be like DMing and I'll just be like, it's metal. Rock. Rock. It's a bus. Shrock. What color? Pistache. <laughs> Want to earn a pistache? Plastic. Glask. You know, I love that bird. He's so good. Perfect like, I like most of like the African greys that you see on YouTube shorts. I think they're great. Um, they're all great little guys. I like the one that's always rude to his handler. That one's good too. Taters, they are doing target training, so it's a little bit, um, a little bit understanding and a little bit not. African greys are actually really, really smart. Um, there's a couple of studies done around them, uh, ones that have proven that they are relatively emotional intelligence, even for a bird. Um, but the reason, like, you actually hear them when they're training, they're like, do we want a, a snake to be a worm? Do we want that to be a bug? Is that too many words for Apollo? Like, you hear them talk about it. That's why, like, um, some things are bugs. Like, that's the category for them. Um. I don't think we should ever really compare things to that study. Um, I will say there was a really cute study that went out recently um, where they got a bunch of parrots, uh, not African, not all African greys, different breeds like budgies, greens, macaws, and African greys. And they taught them how to use video chat. <laughs> and they will call their friends. <laughs> and that is the sweetest, softest thing I've ever seen. And like, they will actively like seek out to call their friends. So they're very social animals and they do want to communicate and they love to communicate and they love to talk to their friends. And they love to hang out. Um, I think it's just a matter of like, you have to understand what you're doing. And I think that Apollo's people are definitely handling it about how you should. Like as far as like not overestimating its ability to understand. Cause they're just definitely doing target training with them. They're not doing anything crazy. The one where the parrot is insulting his owner, that's just my owner responds to this and it's funny. But I don't think it's any more unbelievable than the dogs with the buttons, you know? What you doing there, bull? You wiggling? 
have a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> you wiggling? <laughs> There's no subtlety if I'm touching my face, my hands are gonna go. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Yeah, I'm listening to the, the, the gourmet race theme came on. I'm just perfectly listening. This is definitely going to ding. Yeah. And if it doesn't, great. Yeah, I think the buttons. Again, it's all target training when it comes down to it. Target training is very easy for animals to learn. Most animals can be target trained. Yeah. Like, you can target train a goldfish. Did you know that? I did know that, actually. I would say good, because I think you, you, you have friends that work at the aquarium. You should. <laughs> Kirby music goes hard. It really does. I love Kirby music. Superstar Ultra. Show time! Cream! Hi. Cream! What's your favorite Kirby? Uh. My favorite Kirby, like, game or form? Both. Both. Oh, I really love the, the newest one, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. That one's very fun. It's a very good feeling 3D Kirby game. Yeah, I like that one actually. Uh, my favorite Kirby, oh, my favorite Kirby form, I want to say the UFO form from Squeak Squad. Oh, that was nice. Oh, that's such a good one. I love that one. Yeah, I just love seeing him in the little saucer, just floating around. Just a little guy. I like the yeah. Kirby. The very cute hat. Oh, that one's a cute one. I really like Kirby Epic Yarn, and I'm really sorry. You don't need to apologize. I feel weird <laughs> about it, everybody's just like, it's just baby game, and I'm like, yeah, but it's my baby game. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kirby. But like, the first one I played was like, the original GBA one. Hmm. How's your day going? It's been okay. I've just been playing Coral Island all day. Nice. I'm so mad that man is married. If he wasn't married, if he wasn't happily married, I'd sweep him off his feet. Hypothetical. Yeah, I, I, I encountered a character and I immediately messaged Frog about him and told him that I can't believe they put my gender. <laughs> you gotta show me. Oh, this yeah. Game. Um. Hold on, I think I can pull up a picture of him. Hmm. Uh, runner-up for favorite Kirby form, Ice Kirby, because I love that he ice skates. Ice Kirby is very good. I love when he ice skates. My favorite one to play is Hammer Kirby. Oh, that's a good choice. It just... The, whenever you land one of those really hard hits, boy, does it feel good. Yeah. <laughs> when the screen pauses because it's hitting the enemy, it's connecting in such a satisfying way. Yep. Hey, Cream. It's really hard to Google yeah. this man. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's not like his name is the name of a volcano or anything. Uh-oh. 
Just add Coral Island in it. I did it. I just got islands. <laughs> what? Hang on. I'll Google him. I... Hang on. I immediately found him. Hold on, found I found him. him. I found him. <laughs> <laughs> I found him. Leave you alone. I <laughs> You cannot date him. He's happily married. His wife's cute. Yeah. His wife is cute. They have a daughter. She's also cute. She's very she is. Yeah, I looked at him and I was like, my gender? <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah, I didn't know they had you in this game. Oh, that's because my safe search is turned on. Oh. I turned it on to strict. <laughs> so I googled something the other day and it got only horny and I was very angry. <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember I was mad about it. <laughs> I, want it now. I don't know what I googled. Creepy went on a very long Godzilla tangent earlier because I had to show everybody the big-ass Godzilla. Yay! <laughs> I was reminiscing on how I showed that to you for the first time on stream one time. <laughs> and I had to do it for Froggins too. <laughs> I want his figure. I, it's a really nice figure. And I mean, I both his body <laughs> and the anime figure. I want to make him some shitty hand crochet bikinis to wear. Oh my god. <laughs> so he can look like an Instagram influencer. Ah! I'm gonna put him in my rainbow high girl clothes. Holy shit. Put the little top on him, make him real cute. Go off, King. Follow your dreams. I actually don't know how much that figure costs. I should probably look that up. Um... Hold on. Which one is the plausible? Ultra articulated. Okay, it's the... SH Monstars figure is $140, which sounds about right. That's not bad, actually. That's expected. Um, oh. I just like any figure that's got a lot of articulation. It just makes me very happy. Oh, man, there's a giant figure of him. Well, it's a statue, a giant statue, and it's uh, almost $900. Damn. It is incredibly detailed. Oh, hold on. Found another shot of his ass. New ass angle drops. This is the $900 one. Oh, he's all caked up. Like, I'm not going to be able to get to the rainbow high pants on it, but I think I can get the shirts. What, what a cool... I, I actually genuinely love this design. He's so fun. Like his nightmare teeth in his mouth. Oh, here's another better view of the nightmare teeth. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's for eating jellyfish. <laughs> it's just for keeping your prey in your mouth. <laughs> Especially when your prey, your prey is slippery jellyfish. Turtles is like that. Delicious. It was nice having you, Crit. Thank you for stopping by. Sleep, Sleep well. well. Night.
dressing up starting with colors that are uh, picked from his existing outfit, and if it doesn't look right, I'll switch it around. It was snow leopards. I was looking up snow leopards. No! And I ended up in like the furry section of like the snow leopard search and it got weird and I got mad no. about it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just wanted like an actual snow leopard. Like, fuck off. Taters, thank you so much. That is not a weird compliment, especially in my screen, because I have a friend named Toe Butcher. You why came back to free! <laughs> Wait, why are you, like, literally, why are you surprised? Cream is right there! You came back to free! Yeah, I... <laughs> Hi! Here's free! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Where is Tom? I try. I hope he's doing well. I bet he like he's doing like holiday stuff, so. He might be streaming. Hold on. I can't believe Tom is an elder fur. He's like. The, the pinnacle of the Elder Fur is not out of the age, but because of his contribution to the fandom. Yeah. I mean, he is streaming, but it's an ambient live stream of the Isle. So he's not actually actively there in person. Catch me going to a furry con just to meet Toe Muncher. Does he go to furry conventions? I'm not sure. I don't know, that would be the only reason I'd go. <laughs> I want to meet him and that one purple raccoon I see on YouTube shorts all the time. <laughs> I like... I half miss being part of the furry fandom and also don't at the Why same are you getting... time. For... Oh no, you planned your signal. Cream. <laughs> I couldn't understand what you said. A <laughs> soft little no. Oh no, hang on. Hang on, let me disconnect real fast. Yeah, watch this place start it out. I just had the speed pop up.
It's a good thing I'm finishing this at the rate that I'm finishing it because I'm getting pretty hungry. Good, you gotta eat. I do gotta eat. I think it's a hurt myself spicy chicken kind of night, but I'm not gonna eat that on stream. You're not gonna eat the spicy chicken? You're not gonna you're not gonna mukbang us? No, you're gonna hear me suffering. Every time I eat it, I feel like it gets spicier. I've eaten it on stream once and it was a mistake. Where are you getting the chicken from? It's it's just it's a frozen Indian chicken. Store. Are you letting it sit longer and longer each time? It's frozen. Are you letting it sit longer and longer each time? No. Okay. Does that still happen when it's frozen? Like getting spicier and the spices and stuff seeking in? Yes. I don't know. I don't think it, seems... it does. I don't think that. I think it's frozen, so it can't. Uh, I don't know. Chemical you compound, have... whatever. Get ask Sarah. He'd know. You ask him, look at that. Hang on, I'm asking him. It just, I'm just asking. <laughs> like, okay, say, you know how you. Uh oh, I'm asking with my mic on. Sarah says you're correct. I'm correct. That's what I thought. Yeah. I'm glad to know for sure, though. His first question was, why are you freezing? It comes <laughs> like, frozen. It's a frozen like, There's nothing we can do about it being frozen. It's frozen. <laughs> it's just be like that. Highlights like that. Art techniques I steal from you quietly in the dark while you're it's not okay. looking. It's okay, I stole it from someone else, I'm sure. I stole rim lighting from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Stop freezing marinades! I'm not freezing marinades! I used marinades to explain what I was explaining, and so he thinks you're freezing marinades. <laughs> Thank you for the hug. I was just trying to make sense of it. I was just trying to simplify it to marinades because that was about <laughs> the same deal. I mean, it's the same, same spicy. It's the same concept. Yes. I gotta find out if the Super Mario Sunshine soundtrack is safe to play on stream because I love that soundtrack so much. I think some parts are, because I've heard like people playing it on their YouTube videos before. Yeah, I, I know some are safe, but I just need to know if all are safe because if if they're not all safe, then I can't play it. Because if I'm just like going through the playlist, I'm not gonna be paying attention to which one is copyrighted. Kiwi, you got a long list. <laughs> Kiwi's determined. You're going too fast, you're gonna cut off your hugs. <laughs> you're, you're gonna get yourself paused for spamming. 
The auto mod's gonna moderate you. Be safe. It's okay. If auto mod kills them, I'll revive them. Okay, good. Go, here we go. Show time. Welcome back. Hi. Sarah is being a menace. Go crazy, Sarah. Are you sure? Do you know what you've done? Yes. I'm willing to accept the consequences. Okay. Back. Nah, I think he's still having connectivity issues. I'm trying to salute, but I can't move on the right spot. There we go. <laughs> I hate living with this man. I'm gonna kick him so hard one day. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I said Cream was having connectivity issues, and he's like, I'm not having connectivity issues. I'm in a dungeon. I was like, not you. He would like to inform you that you don't know his life. I know that name's taken amongst our friends, Brute. I think he's trying to imply that he is Kree. Ah, uh, yes. The same, it's been the same person this whole time. You never see them in the same room or D&D game? No, never. Definitely never in my stream together at the same time either. Yeah, no, that'd be crazy. That would that would mean that they were different people. Okay, we, we are well. It's been an interesting day. This morning, I needed to order breakfast for myself, and my Uber driver took two hours to get here. I was starving. Dying, even. I'm back. Hi! You're real! Hi, I had to reset my router. Goddamn router. I had to let- I also had to let my folks know that we probably need to call our service provider and get a new router. Yeah. Yeah, because we've had that one for years, and I keep having to reset it more and more like that, so it's probably yeah. about time to update. Yeah, probably. Get her done. Yeah, yeah. Kiwi, it fucking sucked. So I started stream later because I didn't have fuel in my brain until later. So that. Uh, I'm pretty sure the DoorDasher was uh, delivering from multiple apps at once because when they accepted my order, it didn't say uh, completing other deliveries before you. They just started driving to the exact SCU. Haha, uh -huh, your metal pipe didn't work. Yeah, I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. They started driving to the fully opposite side of town, and my town is massive, like, lengthwise. And I'm like, messaging, I'm like, hey, you're going way the wrong way, and DoorDash doesn't say you have any other deliveries before me. Is everything okay? Are you good? And they get back to me like 40 minutes later, being like, yeah, I had other deliveries, I'm on my way. And then it took them that long to get all the way back to where I was, even though the dump that I ordered from is literally only a couple miles away from me, and it could have saved time by going to me first. I'm not gonna stop being upset about this because I had a I was so hungry. <laughs> Did you like leave a comment on it? I'm not gonna ruin their day. 
That's fair. Ruined their day. I did it the other day to somebody from Pro Pub. He also is a little more severe. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm still a little mad about it. Yeah, Frog has told me about it, and I would have also been equally pissed. I'm very much of the mind that, like, he, he, he had every right to be pissed, but I couldn't be angry in that moment. You were just sad. I really was. I really was. <laughs> Would it cheer you up? I guess this is more for Bull specifically. Would it cheer you up to know that while I was grabbing food just now, while resetting the router, my... Out of... Like, out of nowhere, I just started thinking... Started to think about I'm in the house like carpet. <laughs> I don't know what that's from, but I really like it. Creep, so... Creep, creep. Don't be project, just find it, just find it. I... I would. That was my second follow-up. Was I a few weeks ago? I was thinking about that song and how hot garbage the lyrics are. So I had to look up the lyrics, and apparently, the song. This is the only context I'm going to give you, which is that this the lyrics for the song are a remix from, or rather, it's a sample track from Swiney House. So those lyrics are sampled. No. Oh god, I, I wish I could play it on stream, but generally anything that has lyrics isn't safe to play. Yeah. God, uh, I'm just gonna have to link into them. Uh, uh I'm gonna... Yeah. You know I'm what? gonna link... Give us your rendition, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, do you want me to link it first and give it, like, at the same time, or...? You know, yeah. Let them hear it privately, and then for my stream, go crazy. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Let me find it. So, it, like, this is gonna end up providing context anyway, so I might as well give the context right now. Um... There is... There is a Persona anime, and I... I use Persona in heavy quotation marks, because it's kind of not really... Even though it has Akihiko Sonata in it, it's kind of not really Persona. But one of the tracks on the uh, on the anime's OST is a track called "Burning Man Soul," and like Bull Bull didn't know about this. They discovered it from uh, a post on Tumblr and then sent it to me, and I had to be like, "Yep, this is that song." Uh, because the lyrics of that song are the most dog water like rap lyrics I've ever heard. So I'm gonna post the song for you both to listen to on your own time in the side chat. And for for the stream, I'm going to read the lyrics out as flat as I can, so non-rhythmically. That way we can get the like the full experience of what's being said. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Burning Man's Soul from Persona Trinity Soul. Check it out. I'm in the house like carpet. And if there's too many hits on my blunt, I won't spark it. I'll put it in my pocket and save it like rocket fuel. Till everybody's gone and it's cool, then I spark it up with my brother. His mama named him Mo, but I call him Mo Lover. He's more than a cover. He's a quilt. We're putting shit together like that house that John built. John spelled J-O-N, no H. On the hill, cause this shit's gonna feel like Velvet Turtle. My style fits tighter than a girdle. If you hate it, then you can just leave it, like Beaver. But in a day or two, I'll make you a true believer in me. Cause like the alphabet, you'll see, the letter C, this isn't catch a rhyme, that's your everyday soliloquy. Like Chef Boyardee, my rhymes are truly cooking. <laughs> Peace to Matty Rich, cause he's straight out of Brooklyn, New York. I don't eat pork or swine when I dine. I drink a cup of Kool-Aid, not a big glass of wine. Or some 
and this is where the remix comes in, or some Hein or some Hen Hein. The original lyrics is Heineken. If you have time, I'll drop rhyme again. <laughs> I'm in the house like carpet. <laughs> If, if you, I think catching me off guard with the I'm in the house like carpet almost has the same effect as a uh, tutter with cream video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the line, like Chef Boyardee, my rhymes are truly cooking. This man ain't cooking shit. This man poured the can out on the stovetop and forgot to turn the heat on and left it raw. <laughs> No, pointed out on the stove top. Oh, no oh my god. <laughs> Dino Teddy shit. Wow, now I just want Chef Boyardee. I, know. I don't. I super don't. Thank you for your service, Creep. You're you're so welcome. Oh. I can always uh, count on you to, stay this, to say the stupidest shit out of your mouth. For for additional context, the line "Peace to Maddie Rich" because he's straight out of Brooklyn, New York. Straight out of Brooklyn is a movie, and Maddie Rich is the director of said movie. God yeah. Damn it. I didn't know the I didn't know the name of the director of the movie, so I'm very upset now. Yeah. <laughs> I just. Dress yeah, go. Are, the, are the colors here good? If so, I'll do the back view. Oh. Okay. I'm crying. I love I love that the remix of this just changed the out the brand name for um for Heineken to Hen Hein Hen comma Hein. Or some hen hind. If you have time, I'll drop rhyme again. Oh, I don't want to tear his eyes. <laughs> I, I, I still have to wipe my mouth. His mama named him Mo, but I call him more Mo Lover. Oh, what does it right. mean? What well, anthropologists will be looking at this later? I mean, like, what does it mean? <laughs> well, it means he's more than a cover. He's a quilt. Yes, Actually, dressing. really, I get a I get a big laugh out of that one. <laughs> See, I don't know what song this is from, but I remember like my coworker, my former mm -hmm. coworker, used to listen to like some like local rap shit, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know where it came from. Um, but one of the lines was like, "I like my girls like I like my chicken," and then the word, next word is just boiled. <laughs> <laughs> What? And I'm just, I'm just sitting there like I'm. I'm sure this is a bait and switch, and it's supposed to mean something else. But what the fuck? You couldn't have said baked. I would have accepted baked. I would baked sound baked would have been the right thing for like that genre too, because I think it was like that like stoner club music. But I don't. I don't know. What the hell does boiled mean? I don't know, but it's always in my head. <laughs> my style fits tighter than a girdle. It's gonna be velvet turtle. <laughs> I, <laughs> I hold on. I want to briefly talk about this line right afterwards, which is: if you hate it, then you can just leave it like Beaver. Like, I get the reference is supposed to be Leave It to Beaver, but it's the show is called Leave It to Beaver because Beaver is the one responsible for whatever is being left to him. Beaver isn't leaving whatever is left. Beaver is not good at leaving. Beaver I've watched is, Leave It to Beaver. He's not good at leaving. He's not. That's the opposite of what he does, in fact. He doesn't leave. It's kind of a problem. <laughs> Yes, Dresden, I can absolutely add that to the back of the coat. Well, you know what, I'm gonna do some... I was gonna just do a simple sketch for the back view, because, um... 
He doesn't need anything crazy complex. But I'm gonna straight up just copy the outline here. Hold on. Oh, my favorite trick for um for doing turnarounds. Oh. <laughs> copy the outline. Copy the outline, turn it over. My favorite <laughs> trick is just have them symmetrical. So you turn around and there's another face. Stop that. <laughs> you knocked that off. Hey, I have a question for everyone in the stream right now. Yes. What is your favorite type of juice? Watermelon. Apple. Strawberry peach. I've uh, been on a kick of pineapple orange juice. So good. Oh. Yeah, of juice. Yeah, stream chat. Yeah. Yeah, answer the question. Yeah, what's your you favorite juice? <laughs> your favorite type of fruit juice. I mean, I never said fruit juice. If you like a vegetable juice instead, too, that's fine, too. Cucumber juice is just water, though. That is just cucumber water. Yeah. Cherry pomegranate, that sounds good. Ooh, cherry yeah. pomegranate sounds really good. It sounds like it'd be really refreshing. I don't know. It 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 could be, but it also sounds like it could be sticky. Don't say that. Yes, juice is all juice is sticky. <laughs> I am aware. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> Pickle juice is not sticky. <laughs> I don't know if you've had enough pickle juice for it to be sticky. I got drunk and poured it on myself by accident one time. It's not that sticky. Oh my god. When you're drunk, pickles sound way better than they are. <laughs> oh, I love pickles. I'll drink pickle juice. Do we have pickles? No, we don't have pickles right now. Damn. You can start with some pickles if you want, though. Taters, you're just outing yourself right, right in my chat. No, taters isn't wrong. Like, yeah, I'm playing. I, I, I know people drink picklebacks, too. I used to drink pickle juice as a child. That's why I don't drink it now. Because I uh, lived off of that shit. Pickle juice is very good if you are low in salt. Yep. It's one of the things that um, pregnant people uh, crave because it gives more salt. Oh, I love gas station spicy pickles. My my favorite thing in the entire world that is kind of hard to find is like kimchi pickles. Where you take like the kimchi spices and you put it on cucumbers and you kind of let it pickle. That's my favorite thing. This back view is going to end up being cleaner than I thought it was going to be just because it was easier to copy and paste and fill in the gaps <laughs> than it would have been to start over with a sketch. Melon. Oh. Cream, can you guess specifically the watermelon ones, but they're the least popular ones. Cream, can you guess what mine is? What your favorite candy is? Yep. 
Uh. I'm hitting you in the hands. That's my favorite thing to hear you say. <laughs> say it. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Would it happen? Would you happen to enjoy the jaw? The <laughs> would you happen to like experiencing the jaw of Tetris chocolate or nage? <laughs> I I had to take a minute because I was like, it's not G Li B Li. That one's definitely not it. No, that's not the one I I, I asked to hear you say on a constant basis. Yeah, yeah. You're not the one I sent you pictures of every time I go to the picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You believe I didn't buy any of those this holiday season? You didn't? No. What the hell? Well, because the, by the time I went, like, physically grocery shopping, I... I either had the chocolates from Fluffs, or I was waiting for them, and I didn't want to be too chocolate out. Oh, okay. That's and fair. when I did, like, I saw them in the store, and I was this close, but I'm like, no, nope, we're gonna be making cheesecake. We're gonna be making my Aunt Cheryl's cheesecake. I can't do it. Aww. But they're, they're available around. I'll we'll get some later. I've settled on my favorite. Yes. Haribo Gummy Colas. Nice. Um... I'm having a hard time deciding because I have ADHD, so I get really interested in eating one food for a while and then I get burnt out on it. So it's hard to say what my Same. favorite is. Same. Mine is just the one currently. Yeah. I will put a gummy cola in my face no matter what. I love the gummy colas. I do really like snowballs. You have an entire box at your desk. I, I sure do. This isn't a candy, but uh, what I've been eating for sweets for a while is just grocery store chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Which could be really good or really bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think I have an answer. And this is... I don't know that this is a fair answer because I haven't had one of these in years, but every every time I think about it, it makes my mouth start salivating. Uh, the the like specifically multicolored like rainbow tie dye uh, fruit roll up. Oh fuck yeah! Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Um, something that used to be one of my favorite candies and then they discontinued it was uh, I don't know if they brought it back. They probably have. It was the Wonka chocolate bar. Oh. I think it, oh, yeah. uh, it was out around the time Charlie the Chocolate Factory was in theaters. My grandmother bought those for me, and my dumbass got so fucking hype. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the hype is real for a Wonka bar, but also they were just good. She yeah. got them from England, so they were even better. Dang. Fantastic. Um, I also grew up eating a lot of like weird German candies because my friend's grandmother lived in Germany for a while. Chocolate and she would send them. Grasshoppers, let's go. No, yeah. I don't want that. Ooh. The texture terrifies me. <laughs> yeah, That's it the one thing stopping me from eating bumps too, as I know the texture isn't gonna freak me out. Yeah. That's why I, I think the only bug product I'd be okay eating currently is like uh, cricket flour. You use it to bake. I think it'd be okay if somebody lied and told me it was like a Rice Krispie. <laughs> I think that that would help me. I think that that Do would help me. like almonds in your chocolate? Yeah. Then you'd be fine with chocolate covered insects. Are they like softer almonds? No. They like actual almond they're, almond? They're just crunchy. Cause I, I don't like it when the almonds hold cause I don't have enough teeth. <laughs> a lot of my molars are gone. Um, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, I, I can't really eat like a whole almond. I can eat like a chopped almond or like half Yeah, almond. they're like chopped. Okay. 
dress it. Uh, that, I have a funny story related to that. Uh, when my brother learned how to drive, uh, we had the realization that we could just drive to Walmart whenever we wanted and buy a whole pie or a whole cake whenever we wanted. And boy, did we do that. And boy, did we learn why you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> no, no, I'm built different. I never learned why you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> the, the, upside, the upside to being an adult is that I can eat a cake whenever I want. The downside to being an adult is that nobody stops me. <laughs> Dude, no, got very sick. Dude, my family is so food motivated. We um we found out in our local grocery store they have these really good like chocolate mousse cakes and they're so good and i'm mostly the one that eats them like my mom and dad will have a slice but i'm the one that eats like the most of it this past like this past holiday um because those things are so good that they sell it pretty fast they found like they bought three of them because they were the last three on the shelves <laughs> and guess whose ass has been eating all of them and just remember that we still have a third full one in a oh fridge downstairs God. I'm proud of you. You're valid. <laughs> They're so good. I wish I was that strong. Yeah, but well, I'm also... Most, but most cakes usually aren't that large, so... Yeah, they aren't. They're like... I can hold, I can palm one pretty much. They're not that big. Well, not big, but to eat them consistently. Yeah. Frequently. Yeah. <laughs> I will eat them every day from now on. Let's go. <laughs> Don't, don't threaten that, because you have access to them. I sure do. <laughs> Chaos. Yeah, but I'm also, I'm also the kind of person that, um, I prefer, I like crunchy things. I would eat rocks if I could. I just like the crunch. Do you like chocolate rocks? I, I will eat dice. Let's go. Yeah, I would eat those sugar dice. I don't know what chocolate rocks are. <gasps> I have your address and I'll be done by all you next! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna mail these to you and I need you to go on call with me and make the loudest crunch of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I I would say no, but you know I'm weak to food, so yes, please send me some. <laughs> I the easiest way to get me to roll over is to just offer me food. So, funny story, uh, when Nat was Christmas shopping, Nat was told whatever rocks they gave me have to be rocks that I can put in my mouth, because I will put them in my mouth. One of them was safe. <laughs> the other one's not safe if you actually bite down, but, yeah, you know, you don't, don't actually bite it. down. Because he's got a lot of put it in his mouth. How many times have you put it in your mouth so far? Immediately, as soon as I open the bag. <laughs> Yay! I got him um, a clear quartz, which is 100%, 1,000% safe. You're putting in your mouth and eat, but you don't want to eat it because it'll hurt you. Like your teeth. And you can't digest it, but it won't poison you. Um, the other one was a dragon's bloodstone, which, according to my Google searches, you just shouldn't swallow it. Yeah. But even then, it's debatable on if your stomach can, like, digest it quick enough to poison you. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it's like, you don't want to, you don't want to find out. Hey, hold on, I gotta go find your address. We're <laughs> going to our DMs to get you something on Amazon real quick. Yeah. Bull, you're unfairly good at gift giving. <laughs> I'm so glad you think so. Some people are just natural like gifts. It's cute. <laughs> I I am personally not a natural like gifts, but if I get you a gift, you know that I thought about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I find things like Master Splinter dressed up as uh, Van Helsing. That's yeah. That was really <laughs> cool. That was a cool figure. The minute we saw it, I was like, no, no, you know who you have to send it to you. You know exactly the two people you need to send it to. <laughs> Was that Van Helsing as a rat? Fuck yeah! <laughs> now, let me add a new address. 
there. Oh, this is really I'm important. Post. I can't. I, I have to do it right now. I'm gonna post in the side chat what what was included in my Christmas gifts that Bull sent me because Bull got me some really some really <laughs> top quality. I'll post what they sent and then like the other thing. They sent me some really top quality like janky looking bootleg Leomon that I love with oh, my whole heart. Oh, those are so cute! Like, oh, I love these. They're phenomenal, and I wasn't expecting them, but I'm glad that I received them. <laughs> and you, this is the one... You knew of one of them. I knew of one of them, yeah, because you told me. I wasn't expecting, like, the whole squad. <laughs> uh, and then I received this, which I had no... Like, I had no inkling that this was going to be included at all, but just, I I saw this and I screamed, and I had to keep myself from immediately eating it. Uh, <laughs> but they included this with it. Yes. Eat it. I know, I know, I know. Uh, I haven't <laughs> eaten it yet, but I have put it somewhere safe. You could, you could photocopy it onto your Oh, paper. he's in your wallet! He lives in my wallet. Oh, he's on your wallet. Uh, mine is sitting in front of the TV. Staring back at us. <laughs> mine is on the uh, bulletin board with everything else. Yeah, I never posted what I do for everybody. I'm not showing it, it's mine. Forever. <laughs> I want to show everyone this because it because it is mine now. <laughs> I really like that yours is in your wallet. I think I might move mine to mine. Yeah, you can you can show my wallet on stream. I think I made sure to censor out information okay, that's cool. like relevant. Also, Cream, what part of your house do you want this item delivered to? What Back part door, of my side house? porch, front door, garage, mailroom. Uh, so front door is fine. Mail room. Send it to the mail room. <laughs> the mail, the mail room of my house. Yeah. <laughs> Confuse the hell out of the delivery man. <laughs> Where the hell's the mail house? <laughs> the mail one wearing a tie. <laughs> the mail room is actually the side alley where the cats and raccoons live. Alright, the order's in place. It should be here Friday. You're welcome. <laughs> wow, that was so fast! It's on Amazon! We need I'm a front so thrilled you've never seen chocolate rocks before. <laughs> I have no idea what they are. Also, yes, if anyone's wondering, that little, like, keychain part at the top right is because it used to be a wallet chain, but the chain fell off. I I have Garfield with a Naruto headband on my pin board. Oh fuck yeah. I have Garuto on my, my bulletin board. I just need you to know. <laughs> <laughs> I really love Garuto so much. Garuto. Cream, I want you to know I got you every single one of these that I could find except for a variant of this middle one. Um I believe this one comes in silver and gold. Whoa! Yeah. My favorite is the one all the way on the right that's just stanced up. Yep. Ready to throw down. That man looks hand painted. He <laughs> is not hand painted, but he's definitely hand, uh, plastic cast. Yeah. <laughs> all of these are different plastics. Yep. That uh, that eye though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Look, I'm just saying, I want to play a D and D real life game where we use mini pigs as our characters, <laughs> and we go yeah. to like like books a million and like buy a pack of dragons. Oh man, I gotta get a shitty little Debbie mod for myself. We get some mini pigs, some aquarium decor, yeah. <laughs> and a pack of dragons. Honestly, I think those little Leomons might be to scale for some uh, aquarium stuff that my brother bought for his snake enclosure. Ooh. Uh, he has like a little, um, a little old wagon um, that 
that has a hole in it, a, a snake can go in and out of it. It's meant for an aquarium, but if you put Leo Mud on it or next to it, it would probably be to scale. I'm looking at all my minifigures, like which one would I bring? I'm just gonna bring a Gundam. What if I just bring Bingo from Bluey? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that just reminded me of the D20 series that the McElroys were in, where they played as toys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still Toy think of- Toy Story, let's go! <laughs> I just- I still sometimes think about Justin McElroy as the superior man. <laughs> I really like his character for what it's worth. <laughs> it's really funny. How high up is tail, though? Like, it's like up here. I, I, Tiny Heist is one that I watch when I'm at work because, like, I can't... I can't get into it while I'm playing games. Because I want to fight Travis McElroy at every turn. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm at work, if I'm at work, that energy's fine. But if I'm playing games and just having a quiet time, I can't be like that. What does Travis do? He's just he's he is not the best McElroy brother. That's all it is. I know he's the least favorite. He's just got a narcissistic personality. I see. Um, and he tends to headbutt his father constantly, and I'm just like, leave your father alone. You stop bullying your dad right now. Yeah, it's my job to bully the dad. <laughs> to be fair, they all take their turns bullying their dad, but yeah, he does, he does, like, do it more so than his brothers do. And I know that's just middle child energy. I know it's just middle child energy. I understand. <laughs> But as an oldest child, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> I'm just ready to fight everyone at any time. Let's go. Yeah, because you're the you're 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 a middle youngest. <laughs> I am the middle boy. Yes. I'm also the middle youngest. <laughs> I'm just the youngest. Oh, I love the debate of how would furries wear pants with tails. Oh, my favorite one is the little belt loop that goes over the ter over the tail. I like that idea. Yeah. Like a little button in that you button in over your tail. Yeah, that's cute. Or Velcro. Velcro, probably. You ready for my answer? Because you're going to get mad at it? Yeah. yeah. Assless chaps. Get out. <laughs> no, you need to cover the cheeks. No, I think you're good. <laughs> no! That is fine. Do I need the horn? And meanwhile, I have a character that's basically wearing assless chaps, and I just realized this. <laughs> just see Bull turn around. Bull! No, you put those asses away! <laughs> Funny, because Bull designed a character for me that has a tail and pants. Yup, I sure did. <laughs> I'm sitting down. Well, you have to be careful. Listen. What if your what if your ass gets you TOS'd? I have no butthole. <laughs> Stop <laughs> showing. <laughs> Stop showing the camera your ass. Hi, welcome to Bull Shows His Ass on Stream. Yeah, it's just like cat behavior. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what if you go in and you just put like a little X on it? No! Don't make it worse! <laughs> I came up with a little X butthole, I'd have to pay more to do that and do it for like a hundred bucks. <laughs> you asked for a hundred dollars for my edit minimum. <laughs> I don't blame you. I think it would be really funny, but like in, in, in reality, my butt is blacked out. That's fair. That's not shady, that's on there. I think that, like, the strap over the tail is probably the best way to go, and if you're worried about accessibility, Velcro or something similar is an idea. Yeah. 
Um, because Velcro has a lot more accessibility as far as fine motor skills go. Um, but when it comes to, like, fur, it runs into an issue, but that's, you know. Yeah. Uh, what about, like, uh, snap buttons? Snap buttons, um, are a fine motor skill issue, too. Um, I have trouble with them with one of my hands, so. There's, um, I, I made a friend over the holiday break, and, uh, when he was about to leave or hang out, and he put his shoes on, and he just, like, pulled something to tighten them, and we were like, holy shit, what is that? And he's like, oh, these are my motorcycle boots. And I'm like, oh, these yeah. seem like the most accessible, accessible thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. They yeah, I need, really to get cool. some. I need to get some. I love them. I just yeah. keep buying Doc Martens instead, and I don't know why. <laughs> I just wear combat boots. I just wear shoes that don't have laces. I wear shoes with laces that I can still slip on and off. Well, that's why I like the Doc Martens, is because like once I untie them, I can just kick them off. <laughs> I. I see I'm the one putting in the most effort because my my combat boots have laces and a buckle on them. I would, I actually kind of would love a boot with a buckle because I need the extra support. So I used to wear like big steel toe boots everywhere that you had to like lace up all the time. Yeah. And like you had to unlace them to take them off. But then I wasn't allowed to wear them at work anymore. So. Oh. Because they want me to wear fancy shoes. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, the only time I put effort into tying my shoes is if I'm wearing my Jordans. Nope. That's fine. I have casual shoes I can slip on without laces, and I have nice shoes I can slip on without laces, and I have work shoes I can slip on without laces. Incredible. Mine lace up. Mine are the combat boot style Doc Martens. Like, they lace up, they just don't have a buckle. I wish they had a buckle. Yeah, mine. I got, I got those combat boots, uh, and then I got some, like, power lifting flats that I, I haven't gotten the chance to use yet, because I haven't had access to a gym in a while. No. I have been doing my push-ups, so I'm back to being able to do 50 push-ups, at least. Nice. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, run 10 miles. <laughs> Thanks, One Punch Man. Um, I remember seeing, on the topic of, like, tails and clothing, I did remember seeing a post that was, like, uh... It was something to the effect of, uh, if the, if the, like, waist of the pants is below the tail, that's horny, and if it's above the tail, that, that's, a. Uh, uh, I forgot what the the word is for it. That's like prudish. <laughs> so you got to put the tail right through. <laughs> yeah. Just carve out like a little circle in the waistband to put the tail. <laughs> it's better. Is that than... not what you guys are doing? I mean, it's that's the cool, like. Jacket just has a slit. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. I feel like in a furry universe, like, skirts would be more universally accepted for, for like, non-gender specific, just because of the accessibility of them. I, I think if you're already, you know, covered in fur, you don't necessarily need clothing. I mean, you got so I bits think that are chaps are fine. No! Stop! That makes it horny! They have and genitals. I'm not one of the furries that are into how accessible that would be. <laughs> Why did you have to word it like that? <laughs> because there was no better way to phrase it, sadly. You're fucking killing me! <laughs> I will answer any question in the most cursed way, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say it in a really dumb way. Here we rats, you are being left alone. I need more high waisted pants. I just need more clothes in general. I have, um, these, uh, I have two 
cargo shorts to two pairs of cargo, cargo shorts that I've been wearing since like high school because uh, they're really convenient and really comfortable. And when I was out of town a couple, like a month ago, I don't know how or when this happened, but one of them tore like right below the ass line. And I'm like, what? what? Not my great cargo shorts that I'm emotionally attached to. Those are load-bearing cargo shorts. <laughs> yeah, the load is my uh, flat ass. <laughs> it's still a load. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll try to point out where it broke. It was like you can't see my mouse, but it's it's like it wasn't on the ass itself. Do you see where um, there's like the red line that goes around the bull's thigh on the back? Yeah. It's like, it was like around where the red part, the, the bright red stops. It was right below the ass on the side. Just patch it. It was beyond patching. It has thinned out. Nothing is beyond patching. Yeah. Yeah, that's when you do an under patch, not an over patch. It was time to let go. You can do an yeah. under patch so that it looks like your boxes are always showing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's the time where you get like a really cute uh, or a cool patch pattern to put over it. On my ass. Yeah. Yeah. That way when people compliment it, you can look at them and go, why are you looking at my ass? <laughs> Just put a radioactive symbol there. <laughs> or the Digimon warning symbol. <laughs> yeah, the digital hazard sign. Yeah. I love that when people put emojis in, they just kind of show up on screen. Alright, everybody, you know what you gotta do now. Emoji spam. Emoji spam right now. Turn it into a Nico Nico video. <laughs> stretches that I need to do. <laughs> Where you have really... to like kinda like bench press something random. Get a cat. A Bug won't let me. Cat. Bug won't let you bench press her. No, I guess that it. means I have to get a new cat. Oh no. New cat time. Oh no, not another cat. Oh no. I definitely didn't almost bring home a cat the other day. Oh <laughs> No, no, I was driving to go pick up uh, Lindy, and there was just a cat. Uh, almost went and grabbed it. Oh, you would have been so right. I have a problem where I see an animal and I want to pet the animal. Yeah, that just reminds me of a post about someone talking about. I think it was like their, either their grandparents or great grandparents. And they were talking about their, like, the the paternal, like, the grandfather. And they were like, that man brought home so many stray animals that he found. And then, like, the reply to that comment by that same uh, person was people in the people in the reply saying, oh, that uh, his poor wife 
she was even worse. She brought home pet spiders sometimes. And I just like, <laughs> I, I remember that post and I think, God, what a good relationship goal that is <laughs> to just bring home the most, like every animal that's willing to let you pick it up. Perfect. That'll be that'll be me and Sarah when we stop having the the, the floor space limitations that we currently have. <laughs> and it's the only thing that is making me stop him is going. We don't have room. See you later, Master. Good luck with work. Yeah, the not enough room, not enough money issue definitely puts a damper on the plans of having more pets. It is mostly a not enough room issue. Yep. It, it's funny because I'm basically a Disney princess. Animals love me and I love them. Oh yeah. And I'm only trying to keep them separate from them because we just don't have the room. <laughs> but if our neighbor asks us to babysit the dog, I'm there. <laughs> our neighbor's dog greets me when I get home from work. Oh. Comes and meets me at my car. Oh my god! She'll be steady yelling for him too. She's just really like, get back here. What are you doing over there? Sweetie pie. His name is uh, Captain Kurt. I've heard of him. Yeah. He's great. I love that she calls him Cap and also Kirk, depending on how he's been behaving. In his back, he's just gonna be in flat colors. Oh no! Where's the line break? Is that the bottom? Oh my god, that is microscopic! Do you see that? <laughs> that is so fucking rude. Literal microns. Jesus. Wow, get line broken. Wow, no! four lines. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he was literally one pixel. Imagine having a break in your lines. Jeez. Couldn't be me. Except it was me. Couldn't be every artist ever. It was me. And it is me every fucking day. It's like going up to a programmer and being like, hey, imagine having bugs in your code. Jesus. <laughs> Me looking at the programmer being like, wait, you use code? Wait, you're an artist who does art? I I don't know, I'm standing there holding the bug. No, I like the idea of going up to an artist and being like, you're an artist? Do you do art? No way. How's that working out for you? You gotta follow Not great. You gotta follow it up with uh can you draw me? No! I'll give you exposure. Get out. <laughs> no, people die of exposure. <laughs> yeah, I know they do. <laughs> no new artists who are paid in it. Excuse <laughs> me, <these> nuts. <laughs> Psychic damage, sorry, Dewey. You need to expose artists to money and damn right, Dresden. Yeah, Dresden would know. Yeah, he would know! Look at what we're doing right now! I'm not uh, saying he's wrong, I'm agreeing with you! I'm just saying, I do like to support artists. Yeah. Which reminds me, I want to steal a whole month of commissions from Nat. <laughs> One of them's mine. Hey, I, can I can I read a post that a friend reblogged on Tumblr just real fast? Yeah. 
from Penguin Killer on Tumblr.com. Be honest. My key smashing always has too many J's and Q's in it, and that's why you won't have sex with me. Am I right? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're one of those people that will redo a type out of a key smash if it looks wrong to you. I've never key smashed, I'm sorry. I'm not gay enough to key smash. So, pro tip on how to do a good key smash. Roll your face across your keyboard once. Great advice, thank you so much for your input. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you sure you've never played WoW? <laughs> oh, because they used to call a uh, paladin taking face rolling. <laughs> oh, that that's not a WoW thing. Yeah, you have to fight auto auto correct tooth and nail the key smash when you're on mobile. Alright, I'll have to rearrange these to post them or to get them on a ref, but Dresden is done! He's I done! Like you, I like that you yelled that like you're calling Dresden down for dinner. Dresden, dinner is ready. Dresden, dinner is ready. Your art. <laughs> I didn't do it. There are always layers. Just like his friends. I love him. Thank y'all, thank y'all. I'm putting the tablet down. Dresden, I'll arrange these um, in posting position after I have dinner. What's for dinner? Spicy Indian chicken. I'll allow it. <laughs> Position onto an OBS scene because I know there's a way to do that with Vignon, but I don't know how. Alright, when I'm done streaming, I'll get to find out if Kirby is uh, muted in my stream. Can't wait to find out if Kirby's real. Kirby real. The world may never know. Kirby real, clickbait. Kirby real derogatory? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey babe, what's that mean? It's exactly what it sounds like. Do I want to raid? We're gonna be raiding. The Red Dragon, who is a 3D model YouTuber, and I really like his model, it's very cute. Thank you for the hug! Oh, excuse me. Oh, right. The raid is set up. This was a very nice stream, thank you all for coming to hang out with me. That goes for those in chat and my stream mates here. Hell yeah. Thank you for letting us hang out. Yeah, I'll try my best to make a hand heart. Just do the, the... Just do the K-pop one. That would be even harder. Oh. See? I can't get my fingers to touch. Huh. It's because I don't have proper hand tracking. Someday, okay. someday I'll have $200 to throw away. Oh, 
over here for a month of commissions from me. I was just about to say it'll be when Sarah commissions you. What? Unfortunately, I have taxes to worry about. I'm not excited. Alright, Raid's about to go. I got to do goodbye message. Uh, thank you for coming. Yeah. Be sure to do your stretches, get some water, get some snacks, take your resin and take them. Drink your juice. Drink your fucking juice. Be sure to take care of yourself or else I'll hide you after stream. Uh, I love you all. Tell Satan. Good night. Dog dog. Dog dog. dog. Bye.